Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Oddballs, episode two, joined by our delightful cast. Uh, I'm excited, y'all. I'm ready to get into it. I don't know if, I guess we should probably do real quick introductions, because we got a lot to do today, and I want to jump okay. in. All right, so uh, let's just go around the room really quickly, and you can describe your characters to those who have not uh, seen the first episode, which... <sighs> What are you even doing here? <laughs> what are you even doing here? You get okay. your stuff together. Yeah, get your stuff together. Uh, Morgan, would you please introduce yourself and uh, talk about Samantha Page really quickly? I mean, I guess. I'm guessing that most people have actually probably heard of her. So, I mean, it's like She's fine, very but... popular. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> I'm not... It's not that I'm popular. It's just that everybody happens to like me. Um, and I'm super well-dressed. And I'm funny and i know where to get beer yeah the guy outside the convenience store (laughs) (laughs) so i guess i can let other people talk even though i'm guessing most people want to hear about me that's okay i mean that's why that's really why we're here (laughs) yeah oh my god okay (laughs) okay hi guys i'm Uh, the popular girl (laughs) moving on ken uh clarence introduce us to clarence oh clarence is a super sheltered nerd and uh he's got he's got this black t-shirt with like the superimposed wolves on it it's got the moon in the corner and he's got some some uh some khaki cargo pants he's looking like he's freaking just ready for not ready for the world ready for school but uh he's he's been dragged along with these people and he's just freaking out he doesn't know what to do he's nervous he's scared there's actually girls around that's even worse <laughs> I, I, that show. I really do oh <laughs> poor, poor clarence uh okay <laughs> Octo, tell us about Eddie. Uh, you know, Eddie's uh, Eddie's a pretty cool guy, right? You know, he's got uh, good taste in music if you ask him, which, you know, you always do. But uh, listen, can I get that Zeppelin album back from you? Because I've really been wanting to listen to that lately again. And uh, it's it's just, you know, it's kind of, a, it's it's important to me. You know, uh, music is, uh, it's it's a real big part of my life. And, you know, it's a big part of who I am. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, just uh, whenever you're ready to give that back, I want to thank you. Appreciate that. Sure, sure. And last, uh, certainly not least, Elspeth, please introduce us to Fern. Hi, I'm Fern Fisher. Uh, I love deep fried foods and I love my family uh, and I miss my pigs. Um, and I really like the forest and uh, I'm a little uh, scared to be hanging out with these these people that I don't know too well. But uh, sure am excited to uh, make new friends and possibly uh, eat a lot more than uh, than uh, than I was uh, expecting. Great. <laughs> All right. So those are our characters. Uh, would anyone like to take a crack at trying to remember what happened last week? Or do you want yeah, me we to give to the, the rundown? We went to the fair. We started out listening to Achy Breaky Heart. Yeah. And it was great. Everybody wanted funnel cake. Everybody. Yeah. But only one person got funnel cake, though. I didn't get any funnel yeah, cake. Yeah. Just me. You got funnel cake. Oh, because yeah. I stole it from my friend. <laughs> That's you right. know what? However, you got to do it. Uh, After yeah. we get out of this hell pit, we're gonna go get some funnel cake. Yeah, yeah. Dude. You ended up in a hell pit. What happened there? We found the we found some odd looking balls. They were odd balls. Those balls were odd. That's true. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you guys ended up. And there was like a flash of light, and uh, something happened. I have no clue what. But uh, I guess we'll find out today. We start with the song Criss Cross Jump Jump. Oh God. <laughs> Criss Cross, jump, make you jump. jump. And <laughs> Clarence, your eyes open and you're in your bedroom. Will you tell us about what your bedroom looks like? What does your bedroom look like? Jump, oh. jump, Daddy Mac can make it. Your alarm's going off. Jump, jump, <laughs> Mac Daddy make it. Jump, jump. It's uh, it's playing, playing out of my, my my radio here, and it's got a, it's got a wizard on top of it, and he's got a staff, and he's he's kind of like so cool. moving his moving his staff up and down as jump jump is playing, and I kind of slap at him a little bit and try to turn it off. Uh, I have my my galaxy sheets pulled up over me. Uh, 
in, in, my, in my twin bed in a room. I got the stars, the little glowy stars on my ceiling. Uh, my old um, 16 inch little TV sitting down there with the Nintendo under it and the, and the kind of the, the, the green carpet they used to have back in the day that everyone. <laughs> uh, I got a couple of Nintendo power posters on the wall that I got from my subscription. A little uh, beanbag chair in the floor that I used to sit and play some games and a uh, kind of a pile of, it's a toy box. You know, the toy box I've had since I was a child, just sitting there kind of feeling there's like a He-Man action figure sitting on top. Uh, but other than that, the room is fairly bare. Just a, co- it's a couple of things I have. But other than that, yeah. Okay. The emptiness of my life is only, <laughs> I only got some, a couple of toys. <laughs> so this song's going off on your radio and still playing uh do you like crisscross is this someone you're in is this like a band you're into i've never heard of crisscross before who is this wow all right <laughs> so you have no clue you have no clue why this your radio is tuned to the station yeah clarence has no idea this is a this is this is, <laughs> this is AM radio. AM radio. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what this is it is an am radio okay so <laughs> Uh, what do you do? Do you turn it off? Or do you let yeah, it play? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I turn I turn it off and, and and look around and and maybe try to. Do, do I have like this memory of what just happened, or is it kind of like a fading, like a dream almost? Uh, it's up to you. I mean, it definitely. You know, something happened. Okay, I didn't know if I just like wake up and have no memory of it. Okay, I, I just nope, had this you... weird dream. Ah, that was. Man, maybe I've been playing too many video games. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, uh, do you, what do you do? I mean, what are you wearing right now? Are you like in Clarence PJs? What did Clarence PJs look like? Clarence PJs. So I have this, um, you know, the, like the pants and the, like the button up shirt, the short sleeve shirt, and it has a uh, little happy clouds on it and some cats riding on the clouds. Perfect. It's Clarence PJs. Yeah. Those are what, very, very nice. Um, what day is today? That's a great question what day is today you can look and yeah. try and see i mean the alarm clock's right next to you if you want to look over and see what it says on it what time yeah, it yeah, is the alarm or... clock has it. yeah like what time is sure, it sure right sure now? i would like you to roll for this <laughs> <laughs> oh god dang it all right where's my character uh yeah. yeah i want like this is this is a very simple mind roll this is the one six you don't all need right. to work that hard for it <laughs> excuse me uh clarence i need a mind uh, yeah let's do like comprehend i'll even give you those bonuses Okay, so I'm just like trying to figure out what's going on around me. Where's the uh, yeah, yeah? Let's calculate. Oh, comprehend. There it is. Right. One success. Okay. Oof, that would be amazing if you fell. Uh, no, it is one hundred percent. It is Monday, and yesterday was the weekend, and you were at the fair, and it is mm-hmm. now eleven fifty-five a.m. You are super late for school, Mister. Oh my God, I'm so late. <laughs> All right, well, I like immediately uh, kind of like look around, like listen to see if I hear my my dad if he's like running up the stairs, like you're late for school or anything like that. That my first is like, oh my god, am I in trouble? But uh, uh, and then you start trying, trying to get myself ready while, while I'm like panicking that someone's just gonna bust in and start scolding me out of nowhere, even though it makes totally no sense. They'd already be there if it's already eleven o'clock. But Clarence, he's not worried about that. <laughs> he's just like, yeah, no, no, no one has come to get you. No one is looking for you. Uh, it's 11.55, and you are late for school, mister. Oh, no. You yeah, put man. on your clothes and get ready? Like, what do you do? Are you are you getting ready for school? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting ready for school. I was, like, like just stripping off these pajamas and, like, trying to, like, pick up some clothes. They're, like, or drag some clothes out of the closet quickly and put them on. My favorite favorite shirt, you know? Uh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> and then uh, I, I got to figure out how to get to school. I don't even... It's clear. Do I live near the school? Well, Can't uh... Yeah, I mean, you you live close by, but usually I would assume get a ride to school via bus and or parental unit. Yeah, uh, maybe maybe my maybe my grandma said I don't know if she can drive. Uh, <laughs> all right, but yeah, I'll, I'll get I'll get myself together as quickly as I can and uh and 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 head out of my room. Sure. Uh, trying to see if there's anyone else here that can take me to school, or if I'm going to have to hoof it. So is your house uh like a two-story house or is it like one of those one long one-story houses like how 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 would you describe your house 
I don't I'd imagine like one of those old shotgun houses, like all the rooms are on one side of the house and they all go in the living room and then the kitchen and then like the actual door mm-hmm. you use to leave. And there's also the front door okay. in the living room, but nobody uses that door. You go to the kitchen door, you know. Right, right. That front door, that's for <laughs> mail delivery. That's no, no one else goes there. People that don't know any better use that door. So yeah, yeah, I'll come out to the hallway and uh and I pass by my 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 dad's door and then my sister's door and then into the, the living room. Uh all right, sure. So who lives here with you? Your dad, your sister, and who else? My grandma, my nana. Oh, your grandma, nana. Hey, nana. Uh oh, you, you call her nana? Of course, I call her nana. Oh yeah, all right. Love. So, uh, you come running out of your room and you stumble down the hallway, putting on clothes, bashing against the wall, making all sorts of noise, doing the whole one foot hop as you're trying to pull your pants up. You're coming down yeah. the hallway, and in the living room is your nana, and she looks up at you and is like. Claren, sweetie, what are you doing? Man, I'm, I'm late for school. We we'll probably had like a quiz day or something, and I'm going to get like not an A. Can you take me to school, Nana? It's July, dear. You haven't been in school for two months. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was... Wait, what? Wait, what? And I had a fair yesterday? Wait, what? What's... Yes, everyone went. Everyone went to the fair. It's 1992, dear. Are you okay? And she comes over and like touches your forehead. <laughs> a little, a little warm. I just seem to have not really know where I am right now. <laughs> uh, I, I don't remember us ever talking about what year it was or what de- what day it was in the last episode. So yeah. <laughs> That's, um, oh, this is why you're not supposed to sleep in. You get drowsy. Wake up at 4.30 like your father. <laughs> and just shake my head and like, no, that's, that's insane, Grandma. Uh, d- does uh, any of my conditions go over from the last uh, session or is no. it all reset? Everything, re- okay. everything is reset. You're fine. You have no... So I'm not angry at Nana. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no. <laughs> your okay. Nana's not angry at you either. She's just very confused. Where... Uh, where, where's Janet? Sister. There's Jennifer. Uh, she went out with her friends, dear. So, so she came back yesterday? Yes, everyone uh, all came back. You got in before everyone else. I got me? Yes. Oh, oh it was, it, like usual, you were home at eight o'clock on the dot. My little boy. She like gives, shakes your cheek a little. Did I, did I say anything when I came? I don't remember coming back. You came home at eight. We ate pizza. We watched a movie and you went to bed. It was your favorite. Disney's Pocahontas. I hope that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the gambit. Oh, no. Maybe a little too early. Too early for Pocahontas. I think that came out later. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> 95. Shit. Beauty and the Beast is what it was. Yeah. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. Your favorite. Beauty, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Classic case of Stockholm Syndrome at its finest. <sighs> you do love Belle because she reads books. Mm-hmm. And then the Beast, you know, he, he shouldn't get a girl, but he, he kidnaps her and eventually she wins her over. Kills Just the like jock. you, you'll win over a girl one day, sweetie. Oh, she thanks, Nana. Yeah. My little boy. All right, go back to your room, play your games. And I will. I'll gladly like turn around and I don't have school today. Why do I think I have school today? We go go turn on some uh some SNES. It's a place of right, so you, you go back into your room and uh you're not in a hurry this time, and you walk in and you notice that your clothes from the day before just laying on the ground. But the butt pocket, the back pocket of one of them. Is is glowing a little. Well, that's odd. Hmm. I shall investigate this matter. What is glowing in my pants? Did I leave a uh, glow stick in there from the fair? No, no, my friend. You uh, look in the rear pocket, and there's a little tiny orb in there. A little glowing oh. orb. And uh, we cut to then. Fern. It's 11.55... 
AM. What are you doing right now? Oh, I'm uh, laying in bed and I wake up and the hamster is next to me. Hey, buddy. How'd you What's sleep? Uh, 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 Benny, short for ben- Benedict, <laughs> and Benny the hamster. Yep. Uh, Benny's right next to me, and uh, my bed is uh is pretty unmade. I I never bother to really make it because you know you're just gonna go mess it up anyway. So what's the point of making the bed? Uh, my shoes are all muddy. I don't know how that happened, but they're right at the foot of my bed. Um, mm-hmm. I have it's real messy, real messy in here. I don't really clean up after myself, but there are posters everywhere. Uh, of, kind of, uh, posters. of, posters of what? Uh, well, yeah. you know, I, I'm a big fan of, of uh, Bon Jovi, so mm-hmm. I've got posters everywhere because, uh, because I really like I, I think they're all pretty cute. Um, sure. I also have a lava lamp that's uh, uh, busted on my desk, but I just keep it there because I don't, I don't want to throw it out because my mom, I, I, my, my parents gave it to me, and I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, insult them by throwing it away. Um, that's pretty much it. I got a desk and I got some. Uh, I got a big old pile of school books that I haven't touched. They're all dusty. But that's it. So I'm just talking to my hamster, uh, Benny. All right. What do you say to Benny? Oh, Ben. Wow. How'd you sleep? Benny she just scurries him. around and uh, yeah. doesn't really acknowledge your existence. Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. I, I couldn't sleep a wink. I felt like I didn't really sleep at all. I guess I had a some kind of weird dream or I don't know. It was real strange. I mean, how did I even get here? That's the that's the weirdest part about it, Benny, was I just I just don't remember. Huh. Uh will you roll to see if anything comes back to you from sure. the night before? Um what shall I roll? Well, let's do a mind. And uh, investigate. Mind investigate. Key. Yeah, that's just a one six. We'll see. We'll see if you can get a one success on this. So investigate. Just just hit that one. I think. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't think you want to waste a reroll on that. Nah. Uh, but it's up to you. All right. So yeah. yeah, you don't remember anything from the night before. Um, you don't remember how you got home. You just remember you were at the fair and you hung out with some kids you've never hung out before and then you ended up in a hole and there was some glowy stuff and now you're home you don't know how you got there you don't know what's going on you have not a clue how the hell did i get home oh my god oh my god is did everyone else get home okay was i abducted and then someone else abducted me back home Mama? Mom? Mommy? You don't hear anyone reply. Shit. Ben, you gotta go back in your cage. Come here, buddy. And she scoops him up, puts him back in his cage. You fed? You watered? Okay. Okay, there's some... Oh, looks like someone gave you lasagna from last night. That's good. Here, you can have the rest of that. Okay, she closes the the cage and heads out of her room. Mom? Mommy? Would you describe your, your home to us? Uh, outside of the, of the home, it is, it is fairly, fairly clean, fairly, uh, fairly kept up. The, it's, it's carpeted mostly, uh, but it's just like, it's just like in the hallway and it's kind of like a weirdish, uh, like very textured carpet. So like there's divots in it that make it like flower pattern carpet, but it's still a carpet and it's very old looking like seventies maybe. Um, it's a mobile home, so it's not too big. But there are a couple rooms. There's one room that's super neat, super tidy. There's a bunch of quilts everywhere. Um, that's for Grandmama. That's Grandmama's room. And then there's another room uh, that's even even tinier, and that's that's her that's her parents' room. Um, and then you go all the way all the way to the end, and there's a there's a little couch 
um, that's kind of like it's kind of nestled in between a couple couple windows where there's also like a kitchen area. So everything's super compact, but it's really it's really tidy. It's very it's very sweet looking. There's a bunch of like like the kitchen's got a shit ton of like Apple themes everywhere. Like like God bless this home or some some shit like is above the refrigerator. Yeah. So there's Apple themed everything. Right. There's like an Apple cookie jar. There's Apple salt and pepper shakers, uh, you know, and and her mom wants to just keep this very like homey looking so there's there's a bunch of little tchotchkes decorations everywhere at the end there's like a couch that uh her brother used to sleep on but they put like a they put like his favorite uh they put his favorite um blanket over it which uh which was a cubs cubs blanket um and uh they don't touch it they don't touch it they just they just leave it there so she's looking throughout the house through for her for any sign of anybody okay uh yeah no one's in the house right now okay I uh, guess I'll just uh, step outside. Well, I'm peckish, though. She opens the fridge and sees what's in the fridge. What we got? In what your we got? What fridge. Oh, yeah. In your fridge is just a bunch of, uh, like, pseudo juices, like uh, grape <laughs> drink and orange drink <laughs> and, uh, like, red drink, mm. things like that, and uh, a bunch of leftovers, like... Everything is orderly in, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of like those, like, uh, uh, not plastic, but like the to go like packages. Tupperware? Oh, yeah, I get but, what you mean. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, like reused to go packaging from, from restaurants and things like that. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, th this family has, uh, they've taken more than their fair share of forks from restaurants, but they always over tip just in case because they, they need silverware. So here's an extra dollar because, you know, just in case. They don't eat out a whole lot, though. So when they do eat out, they usually take silverware home. <laughs> yep. But they pay for it. They try to compensate. Um, All right. So well, yeah, what do you find to eat? I'm feeling some red drink. And what else? What we got here? I think this is. Oh. She opens the container. Oh. I mean, is that how chop suey is supposed to smell? I'm going to eat it anyway. I don't care. And she. Dumps it on a plate, heats it up, puts it in the microwave, and pours herself some red drink. Yeah, red drink, uh, strawberry flavored. For those wondering, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, strawberry, strawberry, red. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, oh. If you're in the Midwest, also known as Big Red, look it up. Big Red's the best. Uh, <laughs> go <laughs> dude, find that. Red. It's great. Yeah, big you know, red. I know exactly what you're talking about. Big Red's the shit, dude. Yeah, man, strawberry <laughs> drink. Uh, so. <laughs> Yeah, so you, yeah, you're sitting down, you're, you, it comes out of the microwave, you drink this big red, and you're eating this chop suey, and uh, yeah, still no one's around. You don't, like, hear anything? It's weird. Oh, not even the dogs are barking outside, and she checks the window. Uh, we have um, uh, Blooper and, uh, and, uh, and Jezebel. Who are uh, two two big two big German Shepherd uh, Husky mixes? Like they're actually gigantic dogs, and everyone's super afraid of them. But they're super super sweet. So like they will just cover your face in kisses. Blooper and Jezebel. Sure. And she looks outside the uh, window to see if they're out there in the yard. And they just run around. They're are. not. They're not tied up at all. They are out there. They're just sleeping. Oh, dogs are just wow. Okay. She finishes her chop suey and goes outside with her red sure. drink. In, but it's like in, uh, um, oh gosh, like, like a collectible you know, you know how, cup. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. How did you know? Yeah. Yes. It's, but it's, but yeah. it's got like a lid on it and it's got a really thick plastic straw and it's just, it looks like something that you take home from Olive Garden, but it's, it's a movie. Um, yeah. 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 I can't remember what movie though. <laughs> that's, oh, that's it, the. Definitely Dude. like a sleepless in Seattle collector's cup or something like that. Definitely. Oh yeah. It's got it's got yeah. it's got Tom Hanks all over it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. there there it oh, is. Oh my god, <laughs> ET would also be very oh Batman. Yeah. Oh, there are many, Batman. many options. Batman would be good too. <laughs> yeah. So okay, you go just outside, see outside. And the dogs are just passed out laying there. It's the sun is almost completely overhead. It's definitely noon. And uh yeah, it's it's a summer day, and your family is just not around. Hmm. All right. Well, uh... hey, blooper, come here, blooper, come on, 
Your head pops up and then like looks directly at you and runs over to you. Come here, boy. Come on. Come on. Want some lasagna? Come here. I got some lasagna in the fridge for you. Come on inside. Jesse. <laughs> come on. Come on inside. Come on, more treat. Uh Jezebel gets up and wanders a different direction. Doesn't really listen to you. <sighs> all right. Well, sister stubborn. So let's go inside. You're gonna get all the rest of the lasagna. Come on, Blue. Let's go. She goes inside and she gets out the rest of the lasagna, which is like in a tin foil tray. And it's like one of those TV dinners. She sets it down cold, just lets him eat it. Okay. Suddenly you hear barking outside. Loud she, barking from Jezebel. Oh, uh, okay. Blue, you stay right there. She rushes outside. What's up, Jesse? Uh, Je Jezebel goes running off in a direction uh, towards the woods near your house. Shit. Uh, all right. She slams the door. Blue, you stay right there, okay? I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Now, just, 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 just take care of the house, okay? And she takes off towards Jezebel. Okay. Uh, Samantha, it's 11.55 a.m. on a nice, bright Monday. What are you doing right now? Are you also just waking up? Uh, no, I'm up. Um, I have, um, scoped out the situation on my clothes. My shoes are dirty, so that's now on my list. Um, uh, my room is empty. Uh, no one's in my house, but that's not surprising because nobody's ever in my house. Um, and my room, basically, I didn't grow up in this house or in this room, so there's kind of nothing in it of personality. There's no kid stuff, uh, anything like that. Um, I don't have any posters because nobody's really ever allowed to come over. So I don't feel the need to put up some music posters or kind of look cool. So it's just kind of, everything's just kind of plain and blank. But I do have a, um, on my dresser, like a tiny little dolphin statue. And that's pretty much the only thing that I have. Okay. So you've gone through your clothes from the day before. Yeah. I, I Well, I've scoped the fact that my shoes are definitely going to need a little bath. Okay. But but so you're fully awake and you've already been through your room then, yes? Yeah. Okay. So uh and I'm confused and the first thing I did was like, did I did I drink? Did I get really wasted last night? But then I realized like I don't have a hangover, I feel fine, I don't smell like booze, so I don't think I got blackout drunk. I mean it's not like totally out of the question, but it's unlikely. So as you ponder all of this, um Sitting on your desk is a little tiny glowing orb. Uh, you found it in your clothes from the day before, and you're not really sure what it is. You can check it out. You can try and look at it if you want, but you discovered it in your in your pants, and you're just like, I don't know what this is. But uh, yeah, what have you been doing with this orb? It's just been in your room. So I've already touched it. You already pulled it out. And you just put it on your desk. Yeah, when you were going through your clothes, you were like, boop. Does it look like one of those things? You know, those those like Chinese, what, what are they called? The, the balls the, that make the, the noise? The two that you balls? like, like yeah. the stress balls, the ones that you like, you move them in your hand. If you're awesome, you can like do the cool thing. That's almost exactly what they're like. Yes. Okay. That's almost um, exactly what it's like. Except instead of being uh, that metallic, like reflective color, it just has an intense like glow from the inside that makes it all glow in orange yellow. Do I remember who I was with last night? Um let's let's uh roll for that. Let's see if you do. So this is going to be a investigate roll so you can remember. This is a one. I've given everyone else a one, so I'll give you a one success too. Whoa! Yes, you definitely remember everyone. You remember everyone. You remember the the uh, originals chasing you guys. You remember that bastard needles. You'll never forget him. You you that remember that guy is a dick. That guy's going mm. down. That is like remember... one right there. <laughs> <laughs> you remember Johnny meeting you guys in the woods with a knife, threatening you. You remember uh, wanting to burn down the forest in order to get away. <laughs> You even it was remember... just an idea. You know, brainstorming people, there are no bad ideas. It's true. Uh, <laughs> and so you remember that you were with 
Uh, you remember their names too. You remember Fern, you remember Clarence, you remember Eddie, and you remember that you guys went into the forest to get away and fell in a hole and found skeletons and two Orby things. Uh, but you only have and one I of them. Am, and I'm horrified because I think people saw me with those nerds last night and this is going to be a disaster. Also, the hell pit, kind of a bummer. Um, yes. Uh, if they didn't see you, you can damn well be sure that Johnny went around and started spreading rumors about you today. It's noon already. Dude was on the phone by 8 a.m. It's uh, Maybe last Hi. night. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rumors are spreading right now. I'm going to do a little damage control, and that's – it's okay. Here we go. So first uh, order of business is to – uh, go into my bathroom. I'm going to make sure that uh, I have my array of hairsprays because you can't just have like one hairspray. You need to have like light, medium, and strong hold no, hairspray in order to get the effect that you want. So I have my lineup, and then you got to have like an extra because you kind of go through it a lot. And it's hard of to course. find someone who's going to drive you to the store. So you got to get like a lot of hairspray. So, and then so my bathroom also has my shoe station, which is going to have whitening and then whitening for the um, shoes and then white shoe polish and then also um, soap. I'm sure everybody's incredibly fascinated by this right now. Um, so the first thing I do is I do my shoes and then the second thing I do is I uh, do my hair and my makeup and then I go into the into the bedroom and I put on a fresh pair of guest jeans and a guest t-shirt that says guest on it. In case you didn't know the okay. guest. Yeah. No, you're, you're killing it right now. So you look <laughs> amazing going out the door. Um, on point. I got some like reddish orange lipstick on, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You look phenomenal. Mm -hmm. What do you do when sure, you leave like your room? Do you leave? Short. <laughs> yeah. Do you leave Sorry. the Do you leave the ball in your room? What do you like? What do you do? You're You're ready to go take on the day. Okay. I'm gonna put on my um my uh, guest crossbody and. Yeah. I'm just naming things I didn't have when I was a kid, and I really, really wanted. <laughs> Sky's the um, limit. And yeah. then. I'm going to put in my lipstick. I'm going to put in my, my Zippo lighter goes in my pocket always. My Zippo lipstick. Yes. My lip, my lipstick for a refresher. I'm going to put in, what else am I going to need for this fabulous day? Um, <sighs> probably just my house keys. Cause everyone's crazy about locking the house and, uh, and the creepy ball, my wallet. Sure. All right. Yeah. So I take you... some cash out of the drawer. Cause there's always cash in the drawer. Mysteriously. My parents leave me cash. So you, yeah, all right. So you, um, have you given any thought to this ball at all? Like, what are your thoughts on this weird orb, this odd ball that you have? What, what, what do you think about it? I thought we Why probably are you should it with you? not have touched them, but I don't necessarily, I don't trust, I don't want to leave it here because no one's around and. Okay. I don't know, just want to take it with me. So maybe I can. You, you leave your room. And you okay. go out. Uh, what kind of house is this? Is it a two-story house? Is it? Uh, can you describe your house? To us? Ranch house. Okay. And we moved here not super recently, but we didn't really bring a lot of stuff with us, so it's kind of it just has furniture in it. There's no personality. It's just a house, and no one's ever around. My older brother is gone all the time, hanging out with his buddies, and you know my mom's literally never home anymore, and my dad comes in like totally odd hours. You never know when he's going to be there or not going to be there. He's usually not there, but if he comes home and there's something happening in the house, he is going to lose his mind. So, okay. yeah, it's just, it never, it didn't occur to me that somebody would be there. And, um, question that I think everyone's very curious about, how did someone who just moved here become oh, not, so not popular like so quickly? Moved. Not like just okay. moved. I probably moved like my so freshman year. Oh, uh, okay. So you've actually, but, you moved your freshman year, but you're still living yeah. like you, that is not your home. Why, why is that? Yes. Why do you feel like my you don't belong in your own around. home? Okay. So my mom's never around. Like we don't have a family. Like we never have dinner together. We never hang out together. We never do anything together. I basically feel like I live by myself. Except that, you know, my brother and I were always like super, 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 super tight. And now he just, he's going to college next year. He's just like, he's going to college in the fall. He's never, he's kind of with his buddies. So I'm left a little right. by myself. Like, I don't even check the fridge. There's no food in there. Damn. All right. So you just walk outside then? You're just done with your home and you're going out to face the day? 
Yep. I gotta go find something to eat. Sure. As you open the door, a water balloon hits you right in the face. And you hear someone shout, Nerd! And drive away. Drive Foolish, water walk, balloon. Walking off. <laughs> Destroyed. So you, so you are now, your guess everything is now soaking wet. Uh, the hair that you spent a lot of time working on, soaking wet. Uh, do you keep going <laughs> about your day or do you go back no. inside? What do you do? I go back inside and redo the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not going outside looking like this. I'm sure, not going to get sure. it down so you either. go back it's inside. Good. I want to redo it anyway. You go back inside. It's totally fine. And you redo everything. Yeah. All right. Yep. Wonderful. It takes me like, so it good. takes me like an hour. It's like 1230 right now. <laughs> All right, so you go back inside. Meanwhile, <laughs> Eddie, it is 11.55 a.m. You mm -hmm. wake up. Mm -hmm. What is going on in your life? You have no alarm wakes you up. You are just in a room. Please describe your bedroom for us. Uh, all right, well, my bedroom is, uh, there's laundry everywhere, dirty and clean, uh, Dirty laundry that I didn't have time to wash. Clean laundry that I didn't have time to fold. Uh, <laughs> the only thing that's organized in the whole room is turntable, set player, records, music area. Uh, for some reason, all the shelves are on cinder blocks. There's just cinder blocks around my room for putting things on, for stacking, for making you know oh, yeah. makeshift shelves out of. every. My whole walls are wood paneled. Everything is wood paneled. The carpet is orange. It's like a it's like a pale orange. Uh, there's um a uh a fan, you know, like a fan on the ceiling, but th there's no cover on the light. Um, it's just like sort of uh every everything is organized chaos. Like you have my one little oasis of organization and the music, and then everything else is just there's a system. I know I know where it is. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh what do you do? You wake up, it's eleven fifty five. What's the first thing mm. you do when you get up? I roll back over and pull the covers over my head. Are you kidding me? It's before noon. <laughs> There's a banging on the door. Uh who 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 is it? Who's banging on your door? It's probably my mom. Mom! What? What, what are you doing in there? What are you doing in there, young man? Mom, it's before noon and it's summer. Let me sleep. I know. I know. Shouldn't you have a job? Oh, I do have a job, Mom. Look, as soon as the band takes off, I'm going to be making so much money. But I have to get my creative energy <laughs> up first, okay? <laughs> sweetheart, sweetheart, don't bands usually practice? Shouldn't you do that? Listen, when you have as much natural talent is me sometimes you just don't need to practice okay mom your mom keeps banging on the door did you, did okay. you fold your laundry look i mean i'm gonna wear it anyway why do i need to fold it God. because it's the responsible thing to do sweetheart oh god fine do you need me to help my little man no, you need me to help no. you? No, I'll be fine, are you, Mom. Are you sure? Yes, Mom. Okay, I'll, I'll leave yeah, this Captain. stack of underwear out here. Okay, you can vote Thank it yourself. You. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Yes, I can do it, Mom. Thank you. Look, do we have any Captain okay, Crunch? I left it's before noon. Still technically breakfast. I left you a mint on your underwear. And she, like, walks away. <laughs> All right, I sort of get up look around um i uh <laughs> i open the door grab the stack of underwear and just toss it in the corner uh all your underwear is what color exactly oh it's white thank you thank yeah. you it's all right it's yeah. all tidy whiteies we're good all right all yeah. right oh, thank you absolutely why would it be anything yeah. else right, right. Yeah. yeah 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 all right as long as we're on the same mental page okay and on top of it was a little tiny like wrapped mint 
that she left you. Mm. Do you throw that in the corner too? No, I'll eat that. Great. Yeah. yeah. You have to, you have to have fresh breath. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So <laughs> oh. yeah, of course. So you throw the undies in the corner and mm. uh, then what do you do? Okay. Am I, am I dressed? I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, I will say that I probably, well, I, if I don't really know what happened, I probably slept in my clothes. Well, you can check, you can check to see what happened. We can roll to see if you know what oh, happened. Oh, yeah. Can I, I mean, we, I may as well make an attempt. Sure. Of course. Okay. Uh, is for this... you, this is going to be, oh, bless your sweet soul. This is a mind roll. Um, <laughs> you have no talents in the mind and this is a one success. So go nuts. Let's see if you remember what happened. Nope, Aww. not a clue. No, nothing. So you, nope. what you do remember is yesterday you were with your friends. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, not your friends. You're Well, you're with Dwayne and those guys. And then you uh, got in a fight with the originals. And then you met a bunch of kids that you know, kind of, but you don't remember who they were. And you ended up uh, here somehow. Like out of everyone, you have the foggiest memory. We'll let the internet decide why your memory is so foggy. Okay. <laughs> Who knows what you were getting into? <laughs> I don't remember anything. Uh, okay. Um, I better get changed. I'm probably still in my clothes. I'm probably still have my, except for my shoes. I don't have my shoes on, but I have like my jeans, my belt, my shirt. You know, okay. I have like everything else on. Um, my necklace with a little Thor's hammer pendant on the end of it. Um. I probably, uh, so I'm like, okay, so I, you know, I'll probably change out of, uh, I'll probably change out of what I'm wearing into something that looks basically the same. Yeah. It's the exact same. It's the exact same outfit, except it's it's a different band shirt. Except it's a different band shirt. Let's go with Gamma Ray today. We'll go with a Gamma Ray. Gamma Ray? Gamma Ray. Yes. Yeah. If you thought, hey, but uh, for you out there. Listen to Gamma Ray. If you like Dragon Force, it's Dragon Force before Dragon Force was Dragon Force. Um, uh, so we'll go with a Gamma Ray shirt, and uh, but this, it's otherwise exactly the same. Same jeans, same black socks, same you know belt, everything. Okay. Um, and then uh, let's see. Um, I, I just will found a really great Gamma Ray shirt that I'm going to use as an example if people come across you. So uh-huh. we're good. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, I will let's see. So I'll go outside. I'll go out of my room because I'm changed now. I'm okay. up. Is yeah. it wait? Is it after? Is it afternoon? Did it take more than oh, six minutes? Oh, by the time you've changed, it's now like twelve thirty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I had to look for one that that smelled the dig through laundry. Yeah, you had to. You yeah, had to the smell test on everything. Yeah, everything. Oh, yeah. Because it all got mixed together. Yeah, okay. And some so of the I'll smells, walk out. it smells kind of clean, kind of not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, ish. yeah. You could I'll pass it off. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so I'll walk out into the I'm hungry at this point. I want to walk out into the mm-hmm. kitchen. Yeah. Uh at the table is Captain Crunch and then a bowl already set up. And your mom is your mom walks over and places some milk uh next to it. He's like, oh, I, I made you your favorite breakfast, sweetie. Thanks, mom. I feel like I feel like on our in our kitchen uh, above the refrigerator, there's like forty boxes of cereal. Yes, but they're all like a third of the way full, like all of them. They, like and, cookie like, crisp and cookie crisp. And, oh yeah! Cookie, oh yeah! 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 So I can mix and match if I want mm. to. You know, Same I can, I can throw, up there. Yeah. exactly. Of course. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I'll see. Thanks. Thanks mom. Thank you. Um, my you little man, like, she gives you a like mm. sloppy kiss on the cheek. Like mom, mom, <laughs> stop away. it. Stop it. Mom. God. Oh, I need my breakfast. Jeez. Hey, so I'll like, you know, pour the milk in and start eating. Yeah. She's like, like don't eat too much. You know, it cuts the roof of your mouth. I know it's like eating glass, but I just can't stop. Ugh. I'll keep I'll keep eating cinnamon. Or the cinnamon just um the uh <laughs> crunch. And um let's see. Uh so I guess I'll I'll probably just finish up and be like, what mom? What what 
time did I come back last night? Oh, uh, it wasn't very late. Not like your usual self. You came in at a reasonable hour. I was like, oh, my little man's home early. Do you have a bad date? And you you just walked to bed. You didn't do anything. Did, did I talk to you? No, did, you just you just like usual. You're not a big talker. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Wow. Well, okay. I guess I'll uh I'll finish eating my cereal. You know. Okay. And then go and I'll bust my dish because you know I'm not. You know. We are somewhat civilized around here. Obviously. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um. Let's see. I'll but I'll just basically like wash it out. I'll just like rinse some water and then dump whatever's left of you know. The milk crept and crunch residue. Oh, no, you're not disposal. a milk drinker. You don't eat the cereal and drink the milk. That's oh, not you. No, no, I drink the milk, but whatever's left, you know, because sometimes it leaves like a little bit left. Yeah, there's like yeah, this yeah. this crumb the powder at the bottom. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna, no, no, no. So of I course. I wash yeah wash it out. Put it in the put it in the sink. Um. Uh, I I guess I'll I guess I'll go outside. I, I don't. Can I like look out like there's nothing like around my or like there's nothing weird happening around my house, is there? Like no, look you look out outside window. and uh you notice that across the street is the same beautiful manicured lawn of your neighbor across the street, uh Dr. John, and uh next door, Philip and his wife uh Caroline are outside washing their car, and everything about the neighborhood seems normal. Everything seems normal. It's a bright, sunny day in this beautiful neighborhood. Uh, everything's fine. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Because, uh, like, I feel like something was weird, but I just can't place it. Like, I don't remember. Um, okay. Um, all right. Mom, I'm, I'm leaving. Okay, sweetie, have a nice day causing a ruckus. She like waves to you and goes as you walk out. Yeah, yeah, bye. Love you or whatever. I'll leave. <laughs> so you walk Mom, outside. Where awesome. do you go? Where do I go? <laughs> she loves that. Um, she loves that boy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, my friend who I was hanging out with at the fair, Dwayne. Do I? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to his house. Sure. Okay. Uh, so Dwayne's house is nearby and it, it, mm -hmm. he's only like three doors down. You guys grew up together and you, mm -hmm. you, you love the rock. And so, yeah. oh, the uh, rock and roll. yeah, the rock and or roll. Um, mm -hmm. and so you, you go to his house, you knock on the door and, uh, no one answers. Do you keep knocking or do you walk away? Uh, can I go around to where his window would be and like knock on his window? Sure, 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 sure. Um, you go around <laughs> to where the window is. You knock on the window, uh -huh. and he is passed out in bed. You see him in there. Okay. Okay. Uh, can I like? Can I like? Dwayne. Hey. Hey. Dwayne. Like knock on the window again. Uh, Dwayne sort of moves. He's not really getting out of bed. Okay. Um. All right. God. What is? I gotta wake this guy up. Um. I don't know. Maybe he's passed out from yesterday. I don't even remember what I did. Uh. And nobody. No. And nobody answered his door at all. Nobody answered the door. You can try knocking again. Okay, uh, I'll go, uh, let me go around and knock on the front door again. Okay, so you go around and you knock on the front door one more time. Uh, how loudly do you do this? I die, not pretty loud. All right, so you just start knocking very loudly at this door, and finally the door opens, uh -huh. and it's Dwayne's dad, uh, -huh. uh Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson, and, okay. Yeah, and he is not happy to see you. It's like, what do you want, you hoodlum? Uh, yeah. Hi. Um, is Dwayne here? Uh, yes, I mean, Dwayne is here. 
Yes, he's in I, bed. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's like 1245. I thought I, you know, slept late. Can I uh, talk to him? Well, uh, I don't know. Does he want to talk to you? I haven't asked him yet today. Can I? Uh... Oh, okay. Well, then uh, come back tomorrow. Oh, jeez. Uh, all right, fine. I, mean, I just thought we were going to you know, practice band, you know, music thing that he we do. He closes the door on you. He's like, get a job, beatnik, and closes the door. All right. All right. Uh, okay, so aside, ouch, first of all. Um, second, uh, God, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll just walk. Ew, where do where do hoodlums hang out? Uh, well, there's a <laughs> there's a there's a bike path nearby mm-hmm. that uh, there's a place that everyone goes to called uh, Steel Rhino. Now, Steel Rhino is not a rhino, nor is it steel. It's actually just a pipe that comes out of the mm-hmm. side of a hill that is <laughs> spray painted and tagged, and people just go there to, to smoke and be cool. Uh, okay. But it is not cool at all. It's just like a sewage pipe. <laughs> but yeah, that's where that's where like the kids go, like the, the the bad kids. That's where they hang out. Okay, I might go there later, but first, <laughs> okay, uh, let's go to the let's go to the record store. All right. So you head off to the record time. time. Yeah. Um, Clarence, back in your room. You just, I assume playing video games. What are you doing right now? Hell, hell yeah! What else I do every day during the summer, all day long, every day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> um, next to you is this weird little orb, just sort of sitting there. Um, are you ignoring it? Are you wondering what it is? Are you playing just playing games to not pay attention? Like, what is going on with you right now? So I, so I roll and I remember what happened yesterday. I'm just kind of trying to forget the the traumatic death scene of all the skeletons and 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 people threatening my life and all this drama that has suddenly landed around me. But uh, I'll pause the game and, and, and reach over and, and pick up the ball and, and try to give it a closer look. Sure. Uh, like, as, what you is touch this? The, as you touch the ball, your uh, TV starts to flicker. Oh, no. To drop it real quick. I haven't saved my game yet. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> TV's fine. TV's back to normal. Okay. Uh, save my game and game save. Reach over and, and reach over and touch it again. Just like uh, put, touch it again. Reach out and touch a finger to it. Yeah. Yeah, you touch a finger to it, and on your screen, in the left corner, a little tiny bit of static appears. And then, like, kind of just roll my palm over it and, like, roll it on the ground watching the TV and see if the static changes when I do. It does. It, it, the, the more your hand is on the ball, the more static is on the TV. I put it in both hands. The TV shuts off. <gasps> Superpowers. I knew touching these would give me superpowers. This is Clarence's inner voice, too. He doesn't have the nerdy inner voice. It should be, like, very proper, right? <laughs> oh, my. Um, I have powers now. Yeah. <laughs> I got to test this out some more, so I turned the TV off, and then I'll, like, do it again. So oh, the, TV's the TV, off. The TV on. is off. Whatever you did yeah. when you put your hands around it, you turn the TV off completely. And I'll, like, I'll put the ball back down and like, to see if I can turn the TV back on afterwards or if it's actually shorted out. Uh, you can turn the TV on, but the TV definitely turned off. Yeah, okay. Mm. I have the power to control TVs. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> sure, yeah. What do you do now? You you realize this ball has some strange power. Uh, yeah. Do you, yeah, where do you go from here? Well, I'm going to like have it and I'm going to start going around the house to electronic devices and like see if it affects them in any way when I'm around it and holding it. Sure. Where do you go to first? I'll go to my, my little wizard clock first that's, that's plugged into the wall and the radio and go on and like try different things. Of course, like holding both hands, you know, just trying different things, see what happens. Sure. Uh, you go over to your clock and uh, the as you put both hands around the ball, the wizard starts moving up and down and the song, Real Me as a Dancer, starts playing <laughs> over the radio. 
and uh yeah it looks like you are powering on this clock just by holding the orb close to it wow okay i got one more test i gotta i gotta go find the uh the telephone like the corded telephone stuck to the wall and like pick it up and listen to it and like see if see if it affects like that anyway since the the phone sure. usually works if the power's out so if there's you know does that does that affect it any uh <laughs> yeah you go over to the phone and you hold up to it and it starts to ring ah! answer it, hello <laughs> Oh, uh, on the line you hear static, but it definitely it sounds like, yeah, it definitely sounds like more than static. Mm, like it's yeah. a phone call from someone, but the static is blocking it. it hmm. You can hear me, then, then call me, call me right back, and hang it up, and like <laughs> move the ball away from it. See if they call back. Sure. sure. Uh, minutes go by and nothing happens. It's, it's weird. Wait, there was another ball. What if I had both balls? My God. You, you, do, you do remember the fact that there were two balls, but you only have one of them and you have no idea what happened to the other. You don't have a clue. I quickly run to my sister's room. And, and try to find like her little black book of phone numbers real quick. Okay. So, so can locate sure. that. Sure. Sure. You run to your sister's room. And as you get to your sister's room, her phone in her room starts to ring. Oh, I'll put the, put the ball away to the side and like go over there and pick it up. Sure. Oh. Uh, you put the ball away. And this time you hear the exact same sound like room sound, but without the static. But there's no one talking, just breathing. Hello, I can hear you breathing. Oh, just breathing, nothing else. I like start breathing back at him. <laughs> <laughs> the phone up. hangs up. On you. Yeah, <laughs> the phone hangs up. On you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I don't know what to make of that. That's weird. Sure. I'm usually one calling and getting too nervous to speak and breathing real hard on the phone. All right, so I'm going to go back and uh, continue to look for, uh, I'm looking for Samantha's phone number because uh, her and my sister are friends. So there should be a number for her house somewhere around here. Okay. Because I remember, um, I remember being, being around her. I definitely remember being around her yesterday. Oh, yeah. No, you, you will never forget the moment she pulled mm. you out of trash. It is both singularly the best and worst moment of your life. Yeah, you will you will go to the grave remembering that moment. Yeah. Um, so you definitely find her number because your sister has not only the most immaculately kept journal there ever was, but also she has a phone book with literally every person in school because she is a social butterfly. She is out there. She knows everyone. So yeah, you your sister has all the numbers. Okay. So yeah, I'll try to find uh, Samantha Page and... Uh... And then if I do find it, I will uh, nervously pick the phone back up and listen to see if someone's still breathing. Sure. Uh, no, nope, there's no one breathing. It's just, it's just the it's just dial tone. Yeah. Are you gonna okay. give Samantha a call? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call. I, you, know, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna like push in three numbers and then kind of hang it up and be like, oh god, okay, what am I gonna what am I gonna say? Uh, hey Samantha, uh, uh, I was just yeah, what's what's up? Want to go like see a move? No, no. Oh, you haven't right. called? Okay. No, he hasn't called yet. <laughs> I'm, just <laughs> like, in my, I'm just in my house, spraying my hair. Yeah, so so we the scene shifts back to Samantha, who is staring in the mirror, and l you're looking at your your outfit, which is a little damp, and uh, your hair was a mess, and you're trying your best to fix it, but um, things may have changed. You just don't know. Um, you hope that what that was just an original member being mean and not another person at the school. You don't know what your social status is right now. You don't know what's going on with you. But uh, but you can't let them show you care because right? then they control you. So, so we're just going. <laughs> the phone rings in the other room. 
Um, do you pick it up? I do. All right. Uh, Samantha. Uh, Samantha, Samantha, is this Samantha? Hi, Clarence. Oh, uh, um, Clarence, I need you so, to take a deep breath for me. Have so okay. So did you take, a, did you take the breath? No. Take the breath. <sighs> okay. Take okay, one breath. more. We're gonna do it. To, we're gonna do it together. One more breath. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, go. It felt good. Uh, so this morning, I, I was touching my ball, and some weird stuff started happening, and I don't know what to do, and I'm hoping you could help me. Uh, uh, it kind of just, like, when I was touching the ball, it, everything just kind of went off at once. And, <laughs> and uh, have, you se- have you seen my ball? Or one like it? What Hello? does the ball do? Uh, it, it, <laughs> can't think of a way to say it gets off, but uh, <laughs> how dare it, you? <laughs> it, it turned my TV off like the little, little gold ball. I, I found one, it was in my, my it was in my pants pocket, <laughs> and, and then, and then, then I had a, <laughs> I found it in my pants. Uh, okay, hold do, do you have a ball you in your pants? Down. No. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm putting you on hold. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to the TV. I'm going to um, turn it on. I'm going to take the ball, and then I'm going like, to just kind of wave it around the TV. Uh, nothing happens. Mm, okay, so I go back to the phone, and I say, tell me tell me exactly how you did it. Oh, well, I had it in my hand, and then I, then I, like, then, then I touched it with both hands, and I kind of okay, gave it a, a rub. And I, I put the phone down, and then I go, and I do that same thing. Nothing happens. Okay, go back to the phone. Uh, oh. yeah. What well, else like, does your it, ball do? It does stuff. To, it does. It does stuff when I put my ball on the phone too. Hey, let me let me get it. Like stretch the phone cord over there. Like go over there and grab the ball that's laying on the bed. Okay. Like, uh, when you hold it, yeah. When you hold it, Samantha, all you hear on the other end is okay. static, and what sounds like possibly Clarence still breathing. But it's definitely, and in the background, you you hear room noise, but you don't know what it is. It could still be Clarence. Okay, so I'm going to take my ball and I'm going to hold my mine up to the phone. Uh, when you do, the static disappears, and all you hear is, "Help me!" Oh, that's so awful and creepy. That's just her, right? That's all she, yeah, you don't hear that. Okay. Clarence, you okay. just hear her on the other end of the line. Okay, I take the, I take the, I take it away. Yeah, not like, at, at this point, I'm trying to show her and throw my ball away. You get, you get, you can't actually see my hands, but yeah. <laughs> all right, so uh, suddenly Clarence is back on and uh, the two of you have a solid connection again. Did you, did you hear when I rub my ball on the phone? It makes like a staticky noise, like. I, um, all right, where are you right now, Clarence? I'm, uh, I'm not. I look around my sister's room. I'm not supposed to be in here. Uh. uh are you at uh, home? I'm asking you if yeah, you're yeah. here. Yeah, I'm, I'm home. I'm just home. Okay. Yeah, not in my sister's room. <clears throat> you better not be in her room. She is. Anyway, that's not important. Um, okay. I am going to come over. Um, what do you remember about last night? Everything. Okay. Um. I'm coming over, but I'm only coming over to visit your sister. Is she there? No, no, she's oh, not here. God. Okay, perfect. So, okay, so I'm going to come here, though. I don't know if my grandma, I don't know if Nana will be okay with, uh, this is awkward. Uh, uh you hear a click you in the window. <laughs> oh. you, you, you hear a click on the phone and <laughs> Nana says, I'm okay with it. And clicks again. <laughs> That's oh. amazing! Oh my god! Hey, oh, Clarence, focus on me. Um, what do you remember? Who we were with last night? Do you know how to get in uh, touch with them? Because I do not. Uh, yeah, I got I got a uh, uh, phone book 
people here. Uh, yeah, I look for like Eddie's name. I, I guess I'd look for Ferns actually just after Eddie's to see if, it, if she even has a phone number or who would know her. Yeah, um, there is no Fern Fisher listed, but there definitely is an Eddie Hill. Yeah, I got, I got an Eddie's phone number right here. All right, Clarence. Okay, so like I'm going to come over to visit your sister. Um, and then you are going to call Eddie and you're going to get him to come over to your house. Um, and we're all going to meet there. Um, I am going to come in through the back door just so you know. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Um, is there like anything else I should know? Do you know? Uh, well, okay. And then I hang people, up. people, you, uh, uh. <laughs> I don't think we have a bag. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Sure you do. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> you both hang up the phone, and we see both phones uh, click. And Fern, you have been following the trail of your dog, Jezebel, out into the woods. And the dog has led you right back to that hole that was in the ground. She stops, catches her breath, hands on her knees. Oh. Jazzy! Come on, girl! Oh. Oh, my God. She also has no shoes on. She ran after her dog without shoes. Her shoes are still at the foot of her bed. Um, so she peers into the hole. It's just as dark and uh, deep as you remember. Your dog is barking down into it. Man. Um. Hey, you guys still down there? You hear nothing. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't think they're down there. Uh, uh, Jazzy, Jazz, come here. Come here. Come on. Uh, Your dog is barking furiously at the hole, not even paying attention to you. Come on, come on, come on, girl, come on. She tries to, like, wrangle her away from the from the hole. Jezebel is trying to fight you, barking at this hole. No, 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 come on, come on. We gotta, we gotta get away from there. That's, that's not good. You could fall in, dumb dog. Uh, you, uh, have, you know, you have, you have enough strength to pull Jezebel away, but <clears throat> Jesse's still barking a great deal at this hole not like bark bark just like row, 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 like crazy yeah. barking uh is, is there anything anything she can do to like scare the dog away from the pit i mean the best She's thing pretty... you can do at this point is, is pull the dog away the dog is okay. furious at this pit she's got her kind of like by the scruff not try trying not to be too rough with her but like come on come on can't go in there you, you, it's, it's not good. It's not good. It's whatever down there is not good. We got to get away from there. Come on. And she kind of like just All right. pulls her back. Where are, you, where are you trying to take your dog? Uh, back home. Okay. Just, you just are, back to the you are a distance away from home. So struggling against this dog all the way home may be a problem. Damn it. Jesse, how the hell did you get us out back out here? Oh, that's a pine. That's definitely a pine cone. Ow, ow. She kicks it away. All right. You know what, dog? Fine. Stay out here. I'm going to go back home and get your leash. And when I come back, I swear to God, you better be standing right there. Because otherwise, I'll kill you myself. And she turns back around and heads heads back home. Okay. Um, As you uh, get further away and start uh, approaching the field that leads to your house, you hear a yelp from your dog. Which one? Jezebel. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What have I done? Jesse? Do you run back towards Jezebel? Yes. Okay. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. You get to where the hole was, Jezebel's gone. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, oh, uh, oh, Je Jazzy, Jazzy, come here. Nothing. It's, it's, it's so quiet. You don't even hear birds. 
There's no chirping. Leaves don't appear to be rustling. It's just very still. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. Uh, uh. She gets down on her knees. All right. Uh. 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 Okay. I don't have my hat. I don't have my tinfoil hat. It's all right. Daddy said just, 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 just think about, it. just think about it, just think about it real hard. Okay. Please, please return my dog. You already have my brother. Just, just please return my dog. You can just take me and send my dog. It's all right. My family, they, they probably don't like me that much at all. That dog's been in the family for a real long time. Just please take, take me and send my dog. Please. Nothing but quiet. Nothing but quiet. <sighs> okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, and she dips a foot into, into the pit. And you dip a foot in the pit? Yes. Don't go in the pit. I'm like uh, watching a movie. Don't go in there. Don't go. Why, why do you, why do you dip a every, foot in the pit? Everything. Uh, she, she is going against everything that's telling her not to go in there. Uh huh. But she wants she wants to save her dog. She wants to I'm save gonna, her dog. I'm going to need you to roll a uh, move roll. This is a two success roll. Okay. Cool. We'll just we'll come get you. Move, move body. Uh, yeah. Ooh. How's my okay. luck, Jesse? <laughs> Your luck's fine. You have five luck. You can you can I have use five it if luck. You want. Uh, I'd like to re-roll on this, but just once. Sure, go for it. How the Five. how? How are my how my rolls so bad always? Fourteen and you get no successes. Uh, do you want to roll again, or if, if if you if you fail this, you'll suffer a condition. I'll re-roll. I'll re-roll okay. one more time. One more time. Sure. Isn't this what happened last time? You end up re-rolling yes. one thing. Yep. Over it's, over it's, it's whatever whatever my luck is. Fern is so unlucky. <laughs> She's so did unlucky. You, did you just do this again? Is this your third yeah, roll? Yeah, we just rolled three three zeros in a roll. roll. Uh, even though move is supposed awesome. to be one of her great moves, How it's, is it's that supposed possible? to be like her power shit, and she's never How made is that it. Possible. I, I need for my know. own sanity. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> All right. So I think <laughs> it works. Okay. All right. So do you want to go again? Nope. <laughs> okay. So, um. <laughs> You dip your toe in. Uh, for what? Re why did you decide to dip your toe in? What was the thought process behind this? <laughs> she wanted to try and see, like, like climb, see if she could possibly like climb, like hold onto the dirt and just sort of like slide down into the pit. Okay, sure. Um, as you dip your toe in, something <gasps> pulls you down into the pit. <laughs> you just get sucked down. Um, I'm going to give you the uh scared condition yeah because it's terrifying yeah and that's you pretty are I have scary. Scared condition. <laughs> yeah you get sucked down and we cut to eddie eddie what are you up to dude you're walking uh, around going to the record store yeah yeah going to the record store why not you know okay Just check out what's have you have there you, have you been to the record store or are oh. you oh yeah they they love me there they actually hate me but okay. yeah <laughs> yeah. So you, so you get to the record store and uh the owner Jerry meets you. Jerry. He's like, "Hey, Eddie man, what are you doing here?" Hey, what's up, Jared? Just thought I'd, you know, check out uh <laughs> see what you got in today. You know, any anything new at all or you think No, oh, man, or... we're a record store. It's all these. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I figured. All right. Well, all right. I'll... Cool. Sweet. Nice talking to you. Um, yeah. Jerry just goes goes back behind the counter and just ignores you. All right. Um, I'll go in and like sort of browse through, see if I find anything cool that I don't already own. Sure. What are you looking for? What kind of uh record are you looking for? What album is gonna catch your oh, eye? Boy, okay. Um 
let's look for oh gosh so many options okay let's see if they have i probably already own power slave huh um let's see if uh let's look for megadeth megadeth uh, all right sure yeah, megadeth. Sure. uh what's high speed dirt from that's <clears throat> from if i can remember the name of this album well we'll look for megadeth okay um yeah. what you find I is tattoos. yeah you don't find you don't find much megadeth what you do find mm -hmm. is a single album for uh megadeth rust in peace okay okay uh, uh yeah and it's like featuring hangar 18 and stuff like that yeah um but you don't yeah i assume you already have that one it's pretty famous so you like yeah yeah you you have that but other than that mm -hmm. you don't see what you're looking for okay all right i'm not really i don't know i i feel like restless you know like i feel like i like everything that i normally do just isn't like feels like something is off um so i'll just uh, i'll just i guess i just i'll leave the record store i don't know i'm like trying to figure out where i should be going yeah uh as you start to leave jerry stands in front of you and he's like hold up man okay let me see your pockets jerry come on man you know i wouldn't come on i love this place i wouldn't i, I turn out my pockets. i like you and that's why i want you to keep coming back i don't want to kick you out man so i need to know if you took anything this time no no i swear man honestly honest seriously you can Let pat me, me see down your pockets seriously i'll turn around like do like the, the 360 you know sure 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 and he looks yeah. you up and down and he's like all right have a good one eddie and he like goes back behind the counter yeah two chair i'll like walk out with like my hands still up he gives like, you like a piece like, yeah like, like, like yeah. I'm like gonna back out, you know, like hold up my hold up my hands. Peace yeah. See you later, man. Yeah. Sure. Um uh you yeah. What do you do now? Where are you going? What are you doing? You're what? you're what am I tense and uncomfortable and you're yeah. Yeah. Um let's see. Uh I will I'll go back to the forest. Because that's okay. the la that would be the last thing I really remember, wouldn't it? Like, right, because sure, I don't, sure, sure. yeah, yeah. The last, I, because I don't really remember. I'm like, I remember being at the fair and then mm. I remember running and that's it. Okay. So I guess I'll, I'll go back to the forest or like right, head that so you, direction. Yeah, yeah. So you head towards the direction of the forest and the only way to get there from your side of town, uh, mm. it, because Fern lives sort of on the outskirts, she's on the other side of the railroad track, but on your mm. side of town, which is like the nicer upper middle class side of town. You, mm -hmm. um, the only way to get there is through the bike path and past the infamous steel rhino, steel uh, rhino. where, yeah, which is where all the kids hang out. Um, mm -hmm. that's pretty much the only way to get, uh, out to where this part of the forest is. Sure. We'll head over that way. Okay. So, uh, you get on the bike path. Do you just walk? Do you have a bike? What do you do? Uh, you know, yeah, I guess you can get a, I guess I could get up on the old steel horse. Um, sure. Let's, uh, let's hop on that. Uh, hop on that bike. It's All it right. is a very very old bike. Uh, it is uh, not not particularly well taken care of, but it is it but does it function. It is a huffy. It, it is, is a, huffy. a huffy, and that's all you need to know. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is quality made. Um, mm -hmm. So you jump on your bike and you start heading down this bike path. Mm -hmm. Um. Are you going fast? Are you just sort of like cruising by? Are you thinking? What are you doing while you're on this bike path? I'm thinking as hard as he can, which is not very, but mm -hmm. he's because like the whole time I just have this sort of like, I feel like I sort of have this off feeling. And I can't really place it. He just can't quite put into words why he feels off, but okay. he's, I'm thinking, I'm like, what do I like? What, what happened? Like we're, where what happened last night like why am i feeling off like what is this ominous feeling that i have so i'm just sort of like thinking while well, while well, going um a bottle breaks in front of you and oh, like as hit the brakes yeah 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 
Uh, as you slam on the brakes, to mm. your left is uh, Steel Rhino. And it's, again, just a drainage pipe. But mm -hmm. it has a cement block over it to sort mm -hmm. of protect it from rain and animals and whatever. And so mm -hmm. uh, around it is a bunch of spray paint and a lot of, like, wieners and, like, <laughs> fake phone numbers. And, you know, uh -huh. terrible spray. Not good spray paint. Just, like, what terrible spray paint you can imagine. It's there. Right, of course. Yeah. And sitting on top of it in yellow shirts with the Batman symbol and originals written across it is five guys drinking uh, a six pack of beers. And um, <laughs> they are all very drunk. Yeah, I'll have a six pack of beers, sure. Yeah, that's hey, right. You lose something. Point to the broken bottle. Uh, Johnny looks at you and says, no, that was for you. Just give him the finger. Needles looks at you. He's like, what was that? Your IQ? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, just because I flunked out of math twice is no reason to bring that up, right? Jeez. Oh, it definitely is, you idiot. And Needles, like, high fives Robbie. They're like, got him. <laughs> I just I don't want to I don't want to deal with these guys like I don't want to where are you in such a hurry there Eddie what are you doing pal listen I got stuff to take care of all right don't I don't want to bother you fine ladies with your uh afternoon drinking all right listen leave me alone but you okay? could bother us you could bother us yesterday at the fair I remember what you did, and Robbie like pulls up his shirt and he like points to a bruise. <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> listen. You think you pop my back into place after you kick me in the back, Needles? Needles looks at you. And he's like, "It was an improvement." <laughs> I guess it did sort of sort some kinks out. Ugh. Ugh, listen, I don't want to have to deal with you guys again. Okay, like, I got I got places to be. I don't actually have places to be i got places to be all right i want to take any more of your time i'll start to like head off uh they jump down off the the embankment and start walking towards you like you gonna run away <sighs> all right do you really want to do this again it's five against one and i don't want to embarrass you okay yeah I think we do want to do this. And Needles is like, <laughs> like cracking his knuckles coming at you. All right. All right. I'm going to like, oh, God, what am I going to do here? <laughs> <sighs> All right. I'm going to like put up my kickstand and get off my bike. <laughs> Be like, uh, Robbie runs at you. He is furious about yesterday. And he takes a swing. What do you do? Uh, God. Okay, can I... Can I, like... Uh, like, try and push him over? Like, can I try and, like, duck under the... The, the punch and, like, just push sure, him Sure, yeah, over? he's all... He's all anger and rage, and you're... You're yeah. a smart dude. So, yeah, well, this is just a one success. This is a... Okay. This is a, a one success roll. Okay. Uh, is um, this let's do. Body? Or is this forced? Yeah, this is this is body and move. Because <clears throat> you're trying to dodge out of the way and push him back. Sure, that's fair. Okay. Easy. Yeah, so he, he takes a swing at you and you just sort of duck under and push him back out of the way. Okay. All right. Listen, guys, I told you, all right? I don't want to do this again. Okay. I already embarrassed you once. That's what you really want. I mean, do it again. Johnny pulls out his switchblade. It's like, yeah, we can do it one more time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put that. Uh, that's uh whoa, that there's there's no need for that. All right. I I mean I don't I don't have like I don't carry like a knife on me. I may be like a metal kid, but I don't like have a I don't have like a, a sure, knife. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the guys start to approach you. 
Uh, oh, shit, I don't. What do I have when they <laughs> threw the bottle? Yeah, is there the neck left? The bottle's just in shards at your at your feet, but there's parts okay. of it. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I don't, do I fight a guy with a knife? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. What do you do? Can, can Eddie run? Does his char- <laughs> is his character able to run away, or must you fight? He's very. He has very good movement. Uh, he 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 is, he's has a five in body. He's the highest body you can possibly have. The man is a high body. All right, f it. I'm just gonna haul off and punch him in the face as hard as I possibly can. This is Yo, like okay, full on, full on, just like, uh, just like I, like I can't, I can't outrun like three of them. Sure. Um, this is this is a force. You're just gonna go. This is because he has a knife, and because they're coming at you. This is a two success. Okay. Oh, that's Ooh. not good. Reroll on that. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna have to try and reroll that one. Go for it. What is up with these zero successes? Dude? Oh. I'll take it. Uh, okay. 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 okay I'll so take it. you, instead of them coming at you, it's sort of like Han Solo in Star Wars on the Death Star. When he runs at the stormtroopers, it's just like uh-huh. that. As they come for you, you uh, surprise yeah. them. You run right at them and punch Johnny right in the nose, and he falls mm-hmm. down on the ground. His nose just is just bloody and gross. Nice. And he looks up at you, and he's like, "Do you have any idea what you just did? I'm a councilman, son." And all the other guys look at you like, "Oh, you're in for it now, kid." Well, my life can't get any worse than it is now, so I guess do whatever. Uh, they try to help Johnny up to his feet. What do you do? Um, I'm gonna get on my bike and just get and like ski daddle out of there. Sure. Um, you try and to... then I, I give the middle finger as I'm biking away with one hand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, you you yeah. as you bike away, you give the middle finger, and yeah. a bottle whizzes right past your hand, and they just start throwing the remainder of their beer bottles at you as you try to mm-hmm. bike away. But you get away fine. Uh, mm-hmm. And it's very obvious this isn't the last we'll ever see of the originals. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you manage to bike your way over to where you think this hole is, and suddenly you hear a dog barking wildly. Oh. Uh, can I try and find the dog? Sure, you can. You can sort of like key into where the dog is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I try and locate it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, as you start to approach where the dog is, uh, you hear it start to get louder and louder and louder as it's. It sounds like it's coming back towards you. Okay. Uh, wait. The the dog is heading towards me. Sounds like it. The noise sounds like the dog is heading towards you. Okay. Uh, I'll keep walking then and like try and get closer to it. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you suddenly hear a yelp. Like something happened to the dog. Okay. And silence. It... Hello? Anybody there? Any answer? No answer. Like where where am I? Do I kind of have my bearings where I am in the in the woods? Uh yeah, you you know you're nearby where the hole was, but you're not okay. exactly sure where the exact location was, but you know it was near this area. Okay. Huh. All right, I'm gonna keep heading that way then. Hmm. So you head towards the direction of the dog, wherever that Mm -hmm. noise was. And uh, as you come through a clearing, you see Fern standing over the pit. Oh, uh, hey, uh, do I, do I recognize her? Like, do I remember who she is? Um, I mean, you recognize her, but I don't think you remember her name, but you recognize Uh, her. Purple penguin. That's you. 
Sure. Uh, she does not turn around and respond to you. Instead, she dips her toe into the uh, hole. Oh. Can I, like, start walking towards her? Of course. Okay. I'll walk up. Hey! Okay. And, yeah. Yeah. You you literally are inches from her face, and you say, hey. And uh-huh. she does not respond to you. <laughs> Hello? I, like, wave my hand in front of her face. Anybody there? Hello? She puts her toe further in and then gets sucked down into the hole. What? Can, can I look? Can I look down at, and I don't see her in the hole? Like she's just like, it's like gone. Just poof into the darkness. What? The? It, so it's like, I, I, what? The, okay. Hello? Where? Hey. Hello? I'll call down into the hole. Pur- purple penguin? Are you there? <laughs> you don't hear anything. <sighs> uh, we cut back over to Fern, oh. who is now <sighs> deep in this, again, in this chasm where they originally fell. And um, you didn't see anyone near you. You were by yourself up top, and uh, whatever happened, you're now down here. And um, what do you do? She's super terrified, right? <laughs> like she's yeah. oh yeah, so scared. You you are definitely you have the condition of being scared, so you're freaking out right now. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, you, you, when you say help, um, no one, no one hears you. You can't, you can't like, no one can hear you. You barely, you're barely screaming it. You can try louder if you want, but no one can hear you. Jezebel, Jezebel, you down, are you down here? There is no one there with you. Okay. <clears throat> oh, all right. Just like Karate Kid. Just like Karate Kid. Just like Karate Kid. Oh. Oh, all right. She tries to climb. Okay. Sure. She's sure. Sure. To like sink her, sink her fingers into like part of the dirt, part of the clay. Try to find some bearings, something to yeah. climb on. As you do, it is um pretty thick clay but not something that you like as you put your hands in it just sort of goops down with you you can't really yeah. climb out of it okay oh shit i don't even have my shoes on it and she turns to her left and i think that's where the the tunnel is right yes that's where the tunnel is and um there is exactly one shoe uh and a partially used skeleton uh standing there well not standing laying there and then there are many <sighs> other skeletons beyond in the passage further down she pees her pants okay. straight up <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> she just can't can't hold it she's terrified she she remembers the skeletons and just straight up pisses herself no yeah. judges no <laughs> she cannot hold it um so at this point, she is barefoot, just peed herself, terrified, uh, stuck in the hole with no one down there. Um, mm-hmm. She sits down and just starts rocking herself forward. All right, do you say anything? Oh, halfway there. Oh, <laughs> living on a, on a prayer. Take my hand. That's all she does. <laughs> Just start okay. singing Bon Jovi. Sure, sure, sure. Um, so we cut back over to Clarence and Samantha. Samantha, have you arrived at Clarence's house yet? Are you just getting there? Yes. Um, I am just getting there. <laughs> I'm trying to be really inconspicuous and uh, uh, like low key and pretending everything's fine. But I also did sure. tuck. Um, 
I, I decided to bring a slightly larger purse because I decided to tuck in a towel, a uh, hairbrush, mini hairspray, like, so I can do myself on the fly if I need something happens again and I need prepared. to do that. Yeah. Important okay. to be prepared. For you, um, you are wandering through the backyard of Clarence's house. There is not a back door to be seen. You're just in his yard <laughs> looking around for, there's nothing. And Clarence is just staring at you awkwardly through the window, trying to get you to come around to the front, and you are not having it. Um, I'm just going to the front. God, God damn it. I'm just going to the front. <laughs> okay. Just going. Uh, you go to the you go to the front. I mean, my other option and... is climbing through the window, and it just, it's just messy. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. So you, you go to the front. Uh, do you knock on uh... the door? Do you ring the doorbell? What do you do? Uh, he's seen me already, right? Yes, I just he say, knows. Open you. the door. Sure, sure, sure. Do you say it just like that? Yes. All right. The door opens, and uh, Grandma Bergman is there, and she looks at you and is like, "Oh my, aren't you beautiful?" <laughs> and she just is like in in awe of you, and will not move. I try to like walk like, around her kind of like oh she's like oh hey. oh I'm so, I'm so sorry oh 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 come on in sweetheart and she like grabs you by the hand and walks you in and you notice on the the table is a spread of like meats and cheeses and vegetables and like various uh uh types of teas and things she's like even though Clarence would never tell me, I knew this was going to be a wonderful date. I'm, I'm like, oh, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just here to to see to see his sister. Um, but um, and I'm like staring at the food. I'm like trying to control myself. I'm like, but since like, I mean, since you totally went all this way out of your way to like make this, like, I just sit down. <laughs> Sure, sure. Clarence, you come around the corner and you see Samantha. Yeah, yeah. Clarence, you come around the corner and you see Samantha just like going in on this food. I am so hungry. I haven't eaten a home cooked meal in, I don't know, four or five years. Oh, and this is, this is like Thanksgiving in July. She has every type of food that a Nana knows how to cook. She's got it all. She's like comes around with a pot of soup. She's like, you want some of this? And she like uh -huh. <laughs> she just pours it in the bowl anyway. She doesn't even wait for you to say yes or no. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so I, come in, I come in the room and I got like I got sweat on my brow. Like my shirt's just a little damp. Like I've been running or something for some reason. I'm just like, oh, hey, uh, hey, <clears throat> hey, Samantha. Uh, let's see you, met Nana. <clears throat> Nana pulls uh, out a chair. That isn't, you know how usually tables have the, the four chairs? This chair is literally right next to Samantha. She has moved it over, and she pulls it out for you. And she's like, come on and sit down, sweetheart. Oh, oh yes, yes, ma yeah, yes ma'am. Like, no. Shuffle over there. No. No. You just no. say no? And I look, look at Nana like... <laughs> Nana, Nana yes. looks at, at Nana looks at you, Clarence, and then looks at Samantha and, go, and is like, "Maybe she is here just to see your sister." And she takes the soup away. <laughs> That's cool. I ate like three thousand calories worth of soup. It's amazing. <laughs> Nana, Nana I'm, I'm, some soup. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how soup. that went. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, as you, as uh, Clarence, as you go to to talk with Samantha. <laughs> Nana's just cleaning up the table. She is. Mm -mm. <laughs> no one disrespects my boy. She just keeps taking all food away. What? So what, what do you say totally, to Samantha? Totally fair. So yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so can you like help me with my ball problem? I just look at Nana and I just raise my eyebrows at her. I'm like, this. Nana looks at you and raises your, her eyebrows at you, and she like, goes, "Well, can you?" <laughs> oh, hold out I'm the like, other golden ball. I totally, like, like, I like, I like her. I like Nana. <laughs> Nana's great. Can I, can I touch? Can I see your ball? 
Wait, do I know you? Yeah, I know you have a ball because you. No, no, I don't. Yeah. Never mind. You never actually said that whether or not. Yeah, you were messing on your own. So I like hold mine out and be like, well, "Do you? Uh, would you like to touch my ball?" Okay, Clarence. Um, can you like tell me what you remember about last night? But I make uh, sure to say it so like Nana does not hear it because she is going <laughs> to jump to conclusion. Like look at Nana, like real nervous. Oh my God. <laughs> The thoughts of disappointing Nana. Nana go through my head. Oh, Nana looks at you and just does like the loudest audible sigh in the world. And then is like, oh, kids and their secrets. And she just walks away. She leaves the room. Bye, love Nana. Nana. She's there. <laughs> I still love Nana. I'm still, still cracking up over picking up the phone earlier. <laughs> she tried. She tried, dude. <laughs> Okay, so like, and I kind of like, like hunker down a little bit. Okay, so like, we went to the the fair, and then like, yep. uh, uh, then uh, I was in like a trash can, and then you pulled me out, and this like it meant a lot to me because it like it was like you pulling me from the trash of my my life, and and then you were uh, and then uh, and and then there were dead people, and we found balls. That's... <laughs> and then and then what happened this? Do you remember getting home last night? No. No, I woke up. And then I thought I was late for school, but then uh, it's summertime. So then Nana was like, you don't have to go to school anymore. So I was like, okay, cool. And then I went back to my room and I was playing video games. Okay, fantastic. And then I was like, so, um, <laughs> so you, you ended up with one of the balls. Yeah, I only have one ball. Can I see it? Yeah. <laughs> Dig in my pocket and uh, hand it out. All right, uh, go turn on the TV. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go over there. Like, what channel do you want to watch? We have four, nine, and sometimes we get twelve, but it's a little fuzzy. That's the public broadcast station. They probably uh... nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Oprah's yeah, on. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ricky Lake is on right now. Oh and, God! Uh, yeah, Ricky Lake is right I, now. It's Ricky Lake. I love Ricky Lake. I love Ricky Lake. <laughs> and uh, I'm stoked. I mean, that's yeah. That's why Samantha knew to turn on Channel Nine. Yeah, Ricky Lake was I'm on like, Nine. <laughs> We're gonna watch something. We're gonna okay. watch Ricky Lake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I turn, um, I turn okay. it on. You are uh, looking now at a normal Ricky Lake episode. Okay, um, I have the ball. My yeah. hand. Uh, okay. Do you do anything with you? Do you have both balls in your hand? Just, I just have the one he gave me. The, the other one's still okay. in my purse. Sure, sure, sure. I'm not sure, trying sure. to play on my cards yet. Do you do anything I, with it? Uh, you just yeah, hold so it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it next to the TV and I'm gonna put my hand around sure. it. Sure. As like, you get closer to the TV, the TV starts to and there's some static that appears on the TV. Okay, so I'm gonna get closer and I'm gonna like do the cup it in my hands. TV turns off. <laughs> See? See? And like hold my hands out like, can you believe this? I totally got to be honest with you. I did not believe you. What else does it do? I'm like it shaking makes it. The, it makes the phone staticky. And then I can like yeah. hear myself breathing. The phone, that's an issue. Okay. All right. All right, Clarence. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hand him the ball back, which is against my nature because I actually just want to keep both of them. But I'm going to hand it back to him because I feel like... Sure. I'm not really sure about them, and they're kind of creepy. So um, I thought we would do do that, and then um, okay, Clarence, let's try that phone thing again. I'm gonna go into your sister's room. You're gonna call your sister from out here, okay? No, they're all on the same lawn, though. I thought your I sister how... had her own line. Damn, this house is ghetto. No, <laughs> that that wouldn't be fair. I won't... then I'd have then I'd want my own lawn. She'll get I, don't think on. It, I don't think it works that way, Clarence. Not in the real world. Okay. So, like, anyway. Um, okay, so we only have one line. So why don't you go and pick up the phone? All right. I pull the ball out of my bag. I go up to his phone. And we listen to it together. Sure. Like this. Like, um, not that close. So do you have both balls in your hand or just the one? I have just mine. <laughs> Just yours, but not his. Not yeah, his. Come on. I, see, I see it. So, and I'm like, there it is. Precious. Where? So, so yeah. So, are you We're like trying in the to... living room or something? 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Clarence, you have your ball? Yeah, yeah, I got my ball. Okay, great. So, uh, you pick up the line, and there is uh, static. And it sounds like there is a... Some, there's clearly a room or something, and you can hear heavy breathing. Something is, is definitely there, but there's static um, uh, on your end, Clarence. Uh, Samantha, on your end, uh, when you pick up the uh, your ball and you hold it to the phone, the static clears up, and you hear heavy breathing, and you hear, again, someone say, Help. And you hear more heavy breathing and more help. And finally, okay, so right, okay. Oh, do you pull it away? Oh. Do you pull your ball away? No, 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 no. I'm listening. I'm listening. The last thing you hear is, Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. <laughs> On Jovi's even popular in other dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to different rooms, so I guess I'll stick my and head through this point. It, yeah, it keeps repeating. It keeps repeating over and over again. I see. I see. Uh, hello? Like, hello? I'm trying to put on a brave face right now because I don't want to look like nervous and nerdy in front of Clarence. So I'm, like, am, I, am I in the other room? Am I in the sister's room? Did I go to the other room? Uh, kind of, yeah, but you hear her saying hello. Oh, yeah, yeah. That'll, can like, Clarence, like, on your like, end, all you hear is room. still the static and the, like, and, and what sounds like it's a room, but you just hear the static. Oh, hello? I walk out in the hallway, like, with the cord, like, stretched out. I can't, I can't hear you. It's just static. Shut up. Hello? Like, hello? Can you anybody just hear me? Hear, you just hello? hear what sounds like a deep voice singing Bon Jovi. Over and over and over again. Okay, well that's creepy, but also timely. Um, so um, I tell him to come over and bring his ball next to the phone too. Like they, we just hear static when we hear that, right? Uh, on his, you just hear static, you, and All on right, yours, so he has, you hear the, you hear the song. Okay, so he's got TV ball, and I have phone ball. Possibly. Okay. Possibly. All right, so I put the ball back in my pocket. and uh, As you pull the ball away from the phone, it becomes static again. Okay, and then I hang up the phone. Sure. Um, okay, the other thing I want to do is like a Wonder Twins activate and like put the balls together. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Um, as the two of you put the balls together to see okay. what it does, uh, we cut back over to Eddie, who is... <laughs> we cut back over to Eddie, who is staring into a dark hole, one that you just saw Fern get sucked into. But you hear nothing, Eddie. I hear nothing? Okay. Um, Nope. Can I... Can I... Oh, God. I mean, so I saw her. She was sticking her foot in the hole, and then she just vanished. She didn't, like, fall in. She just straight up disappeared. No, she didn't disappear. She just got sucked into this hole. Oh. Straight down. Okay. Okay. It's like a force pulled her down into the hole. Okay. It wasn't just a normal fall. If that helps. Okay. Can I? Can I get down on my my stomach and like reach my arm into the hole? Sure. Okay. Um, you get down on your stomach. You reach your arm into your hole. I'm gonna need you to roll for this. Take my um, hand. We'll make it. I swear. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is a. Um. This is a move roll. This is going to be a two success. Yes. Oh, God. All right. Oof. Do you want to re-roll or no? If you, yeah, I'll try uh, it once. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. If you up? fail this, you will take a condition. If I fail this, I'll take a condition? Yep. Uh... I'll try one more time. I'm going okay. to do a re-roll. No, I don't get it. You have one more luck point if you want to spend it. Yeah, why not? I mean, I'm failing. Okay, anyway. here we go. I need a two. No, I believe no, you. Worse. Oh my even god! Worse. All right. Got that fern luck. So, <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah. Wow. Okay, it's okay. 
So um, you reach down in and you two get scared because you are suddenly sucked down in the hole as well. Um, Fern, as you're rocking back and forth, you hear a thud next to you. And a big puff of dirt explodes into the air. Oh! Eddie? Is that, is that you? Uh, a pe- purple penguin? Uh, 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 no, no, no. I, I, I was like giraffe or something. I can't remember. Yeah, the, uh, the other guy was. The other, the other guy was big. What are you doing okay, down okay. here? How'd you get down here? Did you fall down here? I don't. I, I think my I dog. I just, I, I reached in. I heard a dog, and I saw you, and then you were here, and now I'm here. And how did we get how'd here? You, I don't, I don't know. Something, something just, something pulled me in. Just, it's man. very, very dark in this hole that you guys are in. Um, you can't really see each other right now. You're just sort of talking in the direction of each other. So I, I can, like, I, I don't see her, but I kind of hear her. Yeah, you guys are, I mean, you're very close to each other. Uh, if you stepped sort of like into where the light was, you probably could see each other. But right okay. now it's just very, very dark. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Um, uh, where are you? Here, here, um, uh, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Where are you? Follow the sound of my voice. Okay, okay. Uh, um, I'm crawling over to you. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep talking. Okay. 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 I'm, fo- I'm following. I'm following your voice. Where? Where? Um, here. This I'm, way. I'm coming over. Coming okay. Here. Okay. Okay. Here. Okay. Screams break the silence. Waking right, in the right. dead of night. Come here. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, as you, as you walk towards each other, uh, you almost sort of walk through each other's voices, and uh, uh, I, I thought you were here. Where, where are you now? Do it is like oh, you were, oh, what, are you behind me? Hang on a second. I'm just gonna pull, pull my arms like this, and I'm gonna do like a 360. Okay. Just Me too. I can I can touch you that way. Okay, stop, here we go. Stop, stop when when your when, when 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 your arms hit me. Okay, like okay, okay, around. and they start spinning. Like she starts yeah. spinning around, like sure, trying yeah. to like reach out and touch Eddie. Yeah, I kind of do like a like a I, isometric exercise kind of thing where I'm like doing this, trying sure, to feel sure. where she is. The two of you are swinging your arms back and forth, <laughs> trying to feel each other. You do not. You you are. It sounds like you are mere feet away from each other but you cannot touch each other i i can't, i don't know where you are i i, I, I don't know, I, I know. I am. it's it's the weirdest thing it's like you're right in front of me but but there's but there's nothing there but 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 dirt and clay i can't, I, I can't feel you I'm, okay listen Giraffe, don't don't leave okay just don't don't leave listen i'm 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 kind of scared, okay? I I don't I don't like to admit that, but I'm I'm a little afraid. You're talking to someone who just pissed your pants, okay, Eddie? I'm real scared. <laughs> oh, I wonder what that smell was. Okay, I uh, is is there like any source of light anywhere that we can see at all? Um, there is, uh, and it's sort of a little hole right down, uh, like in the center of this pit, and you guys definitely have walked across it a few times, but you just don't see Fern, and Fern, you don't see Eddie. Okay, maybe this maybe this cave is like uh, some kind of uh, optical illusion or something like a magic eye puzzle. Maybe if we stare at it long enough, we'll we'll see something. You mean I, like I, like cross your eyes and hope that yeah. you see something kind of sort of deal? Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna stare uh, at at I'm gonna like stare at. There's like you said. There's like a point of light. Hmm. I'm gonna stare at that point of light and at see the if point of light. Changes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just light. It's just light coming from above. Oh. I still, okay. don't, I still, don't, I still don't see you. No, I don't. I don't see you either. Um. Okay. Uh. I don't. I don't think it's working. I don't think it's. Uh. Working. Uh. Wait. 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 Do you see? Do you see the? Uh. Do you see the shoe? You have. The, you have the shoe, right? Wait. Where's the shoe? You see the shoe? It's right over. It's right. It's right over there. Can you see it? Do uh, you do shoe? see the shoe. You see the skeleton with I, the one shoe you took and the one shoe that's still there. Yeah. I see it. I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, um, 
All right, well, let, let's both go over to the shoe and let, let's touch it at the same time, okay? Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. We'll walk over to the shoe, yeah. All right. Uh, Fern I'll, touches it. I'm going to grab the shoe. Sure. I'm going to both mm-hmm. grab the shoe. Okay. Uh, I'm, I pick right, up now, the shoe. Yeah, you, you pick it up. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to pick up the shoe. I pick up the shoe. Uh, Fern, you see the shoe get picked up? <gasps> Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Man, you're not here. You are not here. I'm here. Where are you? You are not here. Wherever I am, you are not here. I know I'm Are you here. sure? Are you sure this is the same hole? I'm sure. Do you see the shoe? I start, like, shaking the shoe around. Oh, Yeah, the shoe Jesus shakes Lord. wildly. Oh, my God. It's like, it's like you're, Eddie, are you dead? Are you sure you're not dead, Eddie? Are we both dead? Oh, my God. Did we die? I think this is it. Um, are we dead? As you both ponder your own existence, uh, suddenly, Eddie appears with a shoe in front of you. And Eddie, you can now see Fern. <gasps> Holy Whoa. shit, there you are! Oh, I'm here! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, god. And she god. goes in, she goes in for a hug. Oh god, you smell terrible! Oh, I'm oh. sorry. Oh, listen, okay. I'm sorry. There's it's been a while since I've had some human contact and I was real scared down here. No, no, no. Oh god. Oh, oh, that's fine. It's fine. Uh, I like sort of like like at the most arm's length I can while she's close, sort of like pet her, like pat her head. Like there, there, it's okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, um, sh- should we keep the shoe? Maybe. Do you think I that's mean, like? Uh, we can use it to get out of here. Where? Where are we? Know. What is this place? I don't know. As the two of like you the- try to figure out what's going on, uh, Clarence and Samantha are staring at the two balls they've touched together. Um, what do you guys do? Nothing Did has happened. Happen? You touch these two balls. Nothing has happened. You touch the two balls together, and nothing happened. You feel different? No. Nope. Yeah. Uh, I'm just... Okay, so I'm going to put my, my ball back into the bag. Um, wait, 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 wait. Can, can, I, can, I, can I see your, see your ball? No. Um, and then I am... <laughs> I'm so mean. <laughs> but I don't let him touch my ball. Um, sure. And then I, I say... Okay, so I I totally think what we should do is try to find the other kids. What What do you think? Yeah. Oh, I was supposed to try to call Eddie while you're while you're coming over here. Forgot. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, back in the hole, um, Eddie, as you're talking with Fern, Fern vanishes again. <gasps> Hey, where, hey, where'd you go? I'm right here. No, wait a minute. But I'm here, but you're not. Where are you? What? Uh, oh. oh, wait a minute. But I can I see him? Can Fern see nope. Eddie? You cannot see Eddie anymore. Oh, shit. I'm here. We're right, we're right here. Why do we keep popping in and out of existence? Wait a minute. Maybe this is like, is this like a test? Oh, my oh. God. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe this is okay. Okay. What what did what did we do? <gasps> it's the shoe. The shoe? Bro, yeah. I think I found a magic shoe. Yeah, I mean okay, it does I, seem pretty I, magical. I shake the shoe around again. Okay, okay. It's, All I see is the shoe, just I don't see you yeah. yet. Bernie, you just see a shaking shoe. Eddie, you see no one, you're shaking a shoe wildly. Okay, all right. There's the shoe. Uh huh. And uh, you're supposed to pop into existence real soon. Anytime now. Okay. Wait. W- w- okay. What did we do before we appeared again? Uh, wait. I'm we both touched the shoe. the shoe. We both touched it. Let's try both okay. touching it again. Touch the shoe. Okay. I'm gonna hold okay. the shoe right, up in front right, of me. Right. I'm, I'm touching the shoe. Okay. I'm touching the shoe too. Wait. Concentrate. Okay. Okay. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Shit, I, sh- I still don't see it. I still don't see it. I still don't see it. Um, okay. Uh, Eddie? Maybe, yeah. Eddie. What if we have to go down there? And she gestures toward the tunnel. What if that's our only, what if that's our only way out? Because how, how the hell, how the hell we get home? 
how did we get home last time? I don't, I don't wait know. a minute. I don't know. Do you? What if it's like a portal? Do you, do you remember what happened yesterday? Oh, no. uh, I oh, don't yeah. I, I woke up next to my hamster. Whoa, wait, you have a hamster? <gasps> yeah, his name's Benny. Oh, cool. Okay, well, uh, I, I let's, I really don't want to go down that tunnel. I don't either, but but I, I feel I feel better now that you're here. Okay, yeah, I, I feel better now that you're here too. We could do we could do it together. Hold the shoe. This does nothing to improve right. the fact that you guys are both scared, though. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, no, no, no. I'm like this. I'm don't saying this, but I just, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Comforting, let's, but you're still yeah, terrified. Yeah, yeah. Mechanically, let's, yeah. terrified. Let's hold the shoe. I keep hold holding the shoe. the shoe, okay? That way, maybe, we know we're still there. Maybe the shoe is the key. Hold, hold on. To I, it's it's definitely key. I am one hundred percent convinced this shoe is some sort of time demon. Oh, the shoe. time demon! Hang on, that's actually a really good band name. I gotta write that down later. Okay, we should go. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Hold on to it and let's okay. let's. Hold it. All right. Okay, three, two, two one. one. Let's go. Go. Oh, and the okay. two of you walk into the dark passage leading to what you remember being a room full of skeletons. Uh, back with Clarence and Samantha. Okay. You've taken away your ball from him. What are the two of you doing? Stand there awkwardly. <clears throat> okay. Um, I decide that I'm going to take a deep breath and stop thinking about myself for like one second um, and how cool I think that I am. I mean, very. But um, I ask Clarence, I say, okay, Clarence, what do you think we should do? Well, what do you mean? I mean, they start like blushing a little bit. Uh, I mean, we can hang out, you know, Ricky Lake's on. Uh, <laughs> oh, you just failed that so hard. <laughs> that was amazing. Um, okay, so then I pause and I'm like, okay, so like, never mind. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so I think I'm just gonna like, I think I'm gonna go back over to the phone, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna try calling again. Sure. Um, who do you try to call? The other side. A ball call. Uh, I'm doing a ball call. Uh, all right. <laughs> so you put you put the ball up to the uh, uh, phone. <laughs> That's good. And and as you put it up to the phone, you hear static at first. Um, okay. but it doesn't seem to come, you don't seem to connect with anything. It's just static as you hold your ball up to it. Okay. Let's try Clarence's ball. It's like sure. a ball puzzle. Do you put the both balls up to it or just the one? Do you do one and the other? One and then the other. Okay. So as you cycle between the balls, you hear static that sort of fades in and out. And a clarity, okay. there's something in there, but you don't quite know the perfect like combination. But there's something there. Okay, so then I maybe I'll just like clamp them in my like clamp one in my hands like crazy clamp it, like he did with the TV. Okay. Um the static fades, and you hear what appears to be the same room and uh a voice that keeps saying Shoo. Shoo. And then it starts saying? to fade. <laughs> and then it starts to fade away. It said shoo, 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 shoo. Does that like, mean anything like, to you? Well, maybe they, they want you to stop eavesdropping or something. They're like, shoo, go away. <laughs> 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 Play the game right there. Play the game. <laughs> oh god! All right. Um, okay. <laughs> the short movie is all <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Well, well, you remember where we got the balls from? There was like a bunch of dead people. Do you think we're going to die or something? Okay, that's not helpful. What else you got? 
well, maybe there was like more information there that tells us how to like to use the balls so we couldn't see anything. It was dark. So maybe if we like bring a flashlight and go back and like try to try to see something, we'll figure out how to harness the power of the balls and become like the greatest. Uh, uh, they can okay, like turn uh, TVs off. It can do more, maybe. Maybe we can teleport. Now that's interesting. Okay, Clarence. So um, so you're su you're suggesting that we should like totally go back to that creepy hole where we fell into and then well, saw the you can go, but I mean I mean maybe you, you should go uh you, I mean if you are if you're going if, if I'm going you're going that's for sure okay okay do you remember where it is <laughs> yeah yeah are you lying to me you're totally lying to me <laughs> do I, Jesse do I remember where it is <laughs> you do you remember where it's at yeah, I remember Pretty exactly what it is. Like, the guy with the knife came in. It was way just going to burn the woods down. Like, you know, not far away from that. I told you that was just a brainstorm. <laughs> well, it didn't change the fact you're going to burn the woods down. <laughs> you have a valid point. <laughs> All right, Ben. Um, so, so, but first I think maybe we need some supplies. So, like, I did bring my bigger purse. So, I'm going to try to, like edge into the kitchen and see if I can get if there's like if Nana's still in there and if I can like grab any leftovers or anything like that for my purse <laughs> um, as you go into the kitchen Nana is just standing there she didn't leave at all she was listening the entire <laughs> time and she was like I don't know what you kids are up to but you're going to need some food and she has Tupperware just packed full of food ready for your adventure oh. Yeah. Well, thanks Nana Nana, do we have any flashlights? Flashlights? And she opens a drawer and there's like eight types of flashlights. She's like, what do there's you like need, all sweetheart? The, all like the D batteries rolling around with them too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Clarence, you're a genius. Oh no. Uh, it, it cuts back <laughs> over now to Eddie and Fern. And they are deep in this cave as they're going through the small passages that you've been through before. And um, Eddie, as you come to this big open area, in front of you, you see the the many skeletons, but there is no glow now. However, there is definitely a, an area at the far side where it appears that you guys must have dug out in order to get outside. Uh, and light is shining down through, and you can still see some of the skeletons on the ground. But uh, the area in the middle where the orbs were is just an open, empty area now. Um, Fern, when you come through this area, what you see is entirely different. For you, what you see is an empty space that is pitch black, except for two glowing orbs in the middle of the room. Oh. Where, 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 where are all the skeletons? Wait, 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 do I see the skeletons or no? I You do. Eddie, you I see do. all the skeletons. They're, you're in the room. You're in the original room. Yeah, they're, they're right there. Oh, uh, no, they ain't. Yeah, they are. Look, look here. No. Go pick up. They's oh, gone, uh, Eddie. No, no, no they's skeletons there. in the room. I, how do you not see this? Wait a minute. I, I, what, what, no, 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 no. H how do you not see this? There's, there's no skeletons here. Okay, okay. Now, now, now. For, 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 let's just back up, right? Okay. We are in and out of existence. What if we are on wait, two wait, wait, wait. dimensional planes, Eddie? What if, what if, what if you're not on the same planet anymore? What if I'm not on the same planet anymore? You mean like I'm what if room? this is an alternate timeline? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What if we're whoa, on Mars, back. Eddie? Wait, are we the feast <laughs> people on Mars? This is bad. This is bad news. There are no skeletons in here, and there are two glowing balls at the center of the room. Well, there are skeletons, and if we're on Mars, then those are Martian skeletons. That's what I'm saying. Wait. There are no skeletons in this. No, in my in my timeline here, there are no skeletons, Eddie. Well, I'm definitely seeing the cover of a Slayer album in front of me, so I see a lot of skeletons. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on to the shoe. Okay. Hold on to the shoe. Now, come come with me. 
Okay, okay. all right, all right. Follow me, follow the shoe. Now, right, right about here, and she puts the shoe right above the orbs. This is where mm-hmm. I see two glowing balls right in the center of the room. Okay, so Eddie, you what you see, see on your end, yeah. yeah, what you see on your end, Eddie, is just a skull from one of the skeletons. Her center of the room is the side of your room. It's on the so, edge of your room. So where's the shoe? And are we both still holding the shoe? You're both holding it. Yeah, you're both holding the shoe, and she's holding it right above where she sees the balls. But it's very obvious uh, to anyone watching, not yeah. the two of you right now, but to anyone watching, that her room is much larger than your room. Oh, so I'm in a smaller area? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you said where her center was was the the wall of mine. You're almost at the wall of yours. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm up against the wall. You, where I, I don't see these balls you're talking about. Oh. oh. Um. So, like, it, if I go forward and she takes the shoe and goes forward, you can't. You can't come over here. Uh. Eddie, the shoe hits the wall. It's it's just like up against the wall? Yeah, it's up against the wall. Is, is Fern able to take the shoe or does she hit like a barrier with the shoe? Uh, No, Fern, according to your vision, you're just still walking with the shoe. But Whoa. Eddie, the, the, the shoe hits the wall. Okay. This is heavy. Um, it's, yeah, it's like some Twilight Zone shit. Oh, oh, We've got some differing coordinates, Eddie. Uh, okay. What, how do we do? We have to figure out like latitude or lawn division. I don't. Uh, oh, I, 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 I don't know. I never took algebra. I think we should probably figure out where the exits are for for both well, of us. I, I see a. Oh, I see that that hole where we dug out, right, or where it looks like yes. somebody dug yeah, out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there's there's a tunnel or an exit right over there. Do you? I don't know. Wait, I I don't know. Uh, take the shoe, take the shoe, and see if you can show me. Okay, I would take the shoe and walk over to where the tunnel is. Sure. Does the shoe see starts. The tunnel? To disip- uh, well, the shoe disappears into the darkness. You can follow the shoe if you want to. Yeah, yeah. She she does want sure, to. Sure, sure. Uh, you run away from the balls and you follow the shoe towards uh the darkness, and uh you're now just. There's a little bit of a glow behind you, but it's pitch black where the shoe stops. Oh. Oh. You're definitely still in a large room. Uh, Eddie, I can't see nothing. It's uh, it's it's pitch black here for me. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. What do you see around you? Well, there's no skeletons. And it's a pretty big room, and it's real dark, except for the two glowing balls in the center of it. I mean, that's it. That's all I got. And th- this, this doesn't look like the same room at all. It's like I was in a, a different hole. What happens? What happens if you, if you go over and touch the balls? You know what? That's that's what I didn't do last time. Do you think? Do you think I should try it? I I mean. What else are we gonna do? I- I'm not just gonna leave you here. Yeah, that that that's true. Well, but but what about you? What if I what if I touch the ball and I get teleported and you get stuck down here in this alternate dimension? Well, listen, this alternate dimension can't be any worse than the real one, so we'll try it. <sighs> oh, I wonder if my dog's down here. Hey, wait, can you can you call for Jezebel real quick? Je- Je- oh, Jezebel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her her name's Jezebel. She's a a big, big old husky shepherd, but she loves everybody. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, uh, she, she, that's why I that's why I was down here in the first place. Uh, Je- Je- Jezebel, <clears throat> here, come here. Wait, it's a she. Yeah. It, come here, girl. Come here. You don't hear anything. Uh, maybe she. J- J- Jezebel, come on, Jazzy. Don't uh, you don't hear anything. Yeah, that's the, that's the whole reason I, I I went back down here to find my dog. Oh my god, what if my dog is on Mars? 
Grandma Mall's gonna kill me. No, okay, it's a Martian dog. It's a Martian oh, dog. Okay. All right, uh, I'm, I'm gonna okay. go over there and I'm, I'm gonna touch one of the balls. Okay. Do it. Just, All right. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll keep a lookout. Right. Okay. Oh, right here I go. Which, which 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 one do you think I should? I mean, they're both. I think they're both the same. Are they any different? Uh, no, they just are two glowing orangish yellow balls. Orangish yellow? I thought they were blue. No, these are <laughs> these are orangish yellow balls. Why did I think they were blue? Okay. Look, um, that's on you, not me. I don't know. That's on <laughs> me. That is Why? on me. Okay. It would be hilarious. <laughs> okay. These um, blue balls. <laughs> hmm, I don't know why. I thought they were like glowing, glowing those, those like a bright clean, blue. Those are balls right now. No, they're, 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 it's, it's like a, um, incandescent yellow. Okay. But it's glowing, it's glowing from the inside. And on the inside, it's like a little orangey. Okay. All right. Well, I, I'm going to go. I'm gonna go for the rat one. Well, well, my rat at least. Um, okay. Uh, are you ready, Eddie? I guess I'm ready as I'll ever be. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if what, I do what, both what, what, at the what, same what, what, time? But, but I can't see them. I know. I know. But what if? What if? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, bring the shoe back, back over to me, back over to my voice. I'm gonna touch it with you. Okay. The touch the okay. shoe, and and okay. then um, and then I'm just gonna touch one, one of these balls, the right one, right here. Oh, uh, okay. And Wait, maybe, what if I maybe? What if I put my hand where the other one is? I don't know if you'll be able to see it. That's true. I guess. Cause you can't. Cause you can't see it. I don't even think you can feel it. If you could. It's just an it's empty room. I mean, yeah, I know, I, I know. Um, God, this is weird. Okay, is there anything else in the room besides the orbs? Not in your room. Nothing no. else. Not in my. Not, not in. Not in Fern's room. Not that you can see. There's the two balls that have a, a light glow, um, but there's nothing else in this room that you can see. It's pitch black. All right, Eddie, I'm doing it. Here we go. All right. Okay. Three, two. One, and she touches the right one. Sure. Uh, as you touch the ball, uh, we cut now to Clarence and Samantha, who are slowly approaching the hole. Uh, they have made their way there, and uh, as they come close to the hole, uh, they start to hear a noise in a, in a bush, <laughs> in a nearby, in some nearby foliage. I kind of hide behind Samantha a little bit. How'd you hear that? Could be bears. I, it's a possibility. Very, very low possibility. Okay, so oh I, I hear the rustling, and I definitely I'm like trying to pretend like I'm really cool, but I'm just also kind of like backing up a little bit while he's behind me, and I'm just like kind of trying to be a little protective, but I'm like, it's 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 sure. it's, it's it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's we got this. It's like totally fine. It's totally fine. I'm sure it's just like a chipmunk or something. It's like um. fine. Like looking past her at the at the bush to see if I can see anything. Mm -hmm. It's probably just a really large chipmunk, surprisingly large chipmunk. As the I'm two of you try to figure out what animal this could possibly be, <laughs> a dog jumps out from the bushes and <gasps> starts barking at you guys. It is a husky. It is just a sweetie pie looking dog, um, and just starts barking at the two of you. Oh, oh it's gonna bite us! It's a rabbit animal. His his tail's his tail's totally wagging. So, we're gonna, hey buddy, hey buddy, come here, come here, buddy, come here, buddy. He comes over and just like things. he starts licking your face and hair like crazy. <laughs> everything you've done to look good is disappearing, <laughs> Samantha. Just <laughs> it's dogs like <laughs> yeah. That's super nasty. Is it, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? And then I check, and then I'm like, who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, are there any tags on the dog or anything like that? Uh, there is a collar. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to look on the collar. I don't, I don't know. What would, what would your dog's collar say, Fern? Um, would it have the name or would it? I don't think her collar would have anything. Her collar was really more of like a bandana. Sure. Okay. Yeah. There's a, there's a bandana instead of a collar on this dog. Be careful. Um, that dog's part of a gang. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, Samantha has to laugh at that one. That was pretty good. I like that one. I'm starting to think this Clarence kid's actually pretty funny, even though I don't think he's doing it on purpose. <laughs> oh, so I laugh, sure. and I'm just going to have fun with the dog. And he's like, oh, who's that good girl? Who's that good girl? Um, and then just kind of like look around and keep walking where we were going. Okay. Um, yeah, the dog starts to follow you towards the uh, hole. And uh, deep down in the hole, Fern, you've touched the ball, but nothing seems to have happened to your room. Uh, you don't see Eddie. Eddie doesn't see you. However, you both hear an excited dog barking. Huh? 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 That was it. Uh, Eddie, you still there? Uh, I'm here. I'm here. Wait, I, Wait. but I, I don't see her, right? You do not see her. No, the two of you okay. don't see each other. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes, Bill? Jesse? Uh, the dog, you hear the dog barking. Uh, Sam, Clarence, the dog starts barking down into the hole. Um, okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna yell into the hole and be like, like, hello? Hello? Eddie, hello? you hear, you hear someone yelling into the hole. Fern, you Wait. only, you only hear the dog barking. Wait a minute. Do you hear that? Somebody's here. I hear my, I hear my dog. No, somebody's calling for us. I can only hear Hello? my dog. Hello? Who's there? Do I hear anything? Hello? Uh, Samantha, you hear Eddie shouting back up at you, but he seems pretty far down into the, the, the hole that you guys were in. Clarence, you hear it too. Okay. Hey, but none it's of you Samantha. Hear from it's Samantha. Hey, it's, can you hear us? Is that Eddie? He's been here all night? Oh my God. No. Eddie, are you okay? Are you hungry? Yes. Well, who do wait? Who do I? Eddie, who is it? Who is it? Uh, it's it's Samantha, that girl from yesterday. No, it's Clarence. I, I, wait, I hear. Do I hear Samantha or do I hear Clarence? Do I hear both? You of them? hear both of them. They're both young. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought I just heard Samantha. Uh, uh, wait, it's it's Samantha and Clarence. They're oh. here. Oh. Oh, they're with you. Yeah, I'm in that weird skeleton pit. Why are you still in here? You've been here all hear night. My... Eddie, ask him if they can hear my dog. Uh, I... can you... Do you hear a dog? It's There's a dog there, right? There was, but the dog's gone. But, wait, there was a dog, but now it's not there. Yeah. Oh, but, oh, but, they, but they saw they, they saw a dog. Okay, okay, that's good. That's real good. Yeah. But, uh, uh, I'm, I'm here with Fern. Well, uh, kind of. Well. What does that mean? Come out. Can you guys get out? Is wait, there any way wait, out? I... Okay, wait, Fern. Stay here. Don't touch anything. Not even those balls. Don't touch anything. Please don't, please don't leave me, Eddie. Wait, wait. Would you, can you just leave the shoe? Okay? Just leave the shoe. Okay. This shoe, uh, 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 this shoe is a uh, magic talisman that's going to protect you, okay? Uh, I hope so. Yeah, it's a magic shoe, okay? Just don't okay. Just stay here. Don't move. All right. Okay, I'm, I'm just, gonna, I'm just I'm gonna, gonna keep my hand on this ball and wait for Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go up the the, the tunnel that I found that I saw that sort of like looked like we dug our way out. Okay, yeah. So um you climb up that tunnel and uh Clarence and Samantha behind you, you hear uh what appears to be grunting and like noises in the bushes, and uh out pops Eddie behind you. Wait, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. What is happening? I thought you were in the hole. What are you doing? Okay. okay. I went to the record store and then I, I came here and, and, and I saw a uh, 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 giraffe, Fern, Fern. She was, uh, she fell in the hole and then I, I went in after her, and, but she was there, but we weren't there. And then I was there. And then we, we held a shoe, and it was a magic shoe, I think. And then we found uh, 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 these, like, little orbs, these little uh, balls that were in this cavern. Like, hold, like hang the... on my ball. Like, this ball? Does it Do look like balls? A... Wait, no, no, no. I, I couldn't see them, but Fern could see them. She's still in there. 
You left her in there? What? She has the magic shoe. She's fine. <laughs> well, how did she get in there and then you come out of the bush? How did she get in the bush? I knew these things could teleport you. Wait, so wait, wait, go wait. back in there and get her. I can't. She's there, but she's not there. Do you understand? Like, she's there, but she isn't. I'm going to go look through the bush and see if I can, like, figure out this magical teleportation he used. To get sure. You look through the bush, and there <laughs> behind the bush is a hole in the ground. Behind the bush is a slanted hole going down into the ground. It definitely had a man just climb out of it. Oh. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> oh, he's so disappointed. <laughs> And then look back to him. You said there's a magic shoe down here? Yeah, dude, she has the magic shoe, I think. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how it works. I don't, I'm not a wizard, but I, I think that if we went in there, mm, we got to go rescue her. You're not a wizard at all. Mm. Listen, we'll, we'll talk <laughs> about that later, but I, I, we got to go save Fern. So she's okay. okay. Uh, well, I was going to say Clarence. Ah! Clarence is actually going to start going down the hole because Clarence is more intrigued by the possibility of powers and magic than he is his own safety at this point. Sure. Are you going down the the exit hole? Yeah, they, I'm going to go to the exit hole that he came out of. Like, sure, sure, sure. So I'm going to try the flashlight down there and see if I can slide down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you all? Uh, or do you all join Clarence, or does Clarence go by himself? Oh, we're all going. I'm so mad okay. at Eddie yeah. right now because he left Burn down there. All right, yeah, you all no go idea. down this care. hole. Yeah. And um, you come down to the bottom where you had been before. There's now much more light because Eddie just tore open a new, bigger path up this uh, ramp that you guys created out of there. But aside from the light shining down in there and the um, place where the balls were originally, it's still the same room. There's just skeletons about. Uh, they are in their work suit, jumpsuit, uh, overalls, and they're just, it's still just room filled with dead people. So I'm going to start calling There is fern. no fern. There's no fern. You start uh, yelling? Yeah. Fern. Sure. Fern, you hear Samantha yell for you. <gasps> Samantha? Where? Samantha, you hear fern. Where are you? Uh, like I, I'm, I I'm in the you. hole. Yeah, we're in the hole too. I totally don't see you. I think it's a, uh, um, uh, sorry, I'm real, I'm real scared. I think it's a different hole. Fern, you so, have um, the magic shoe. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have the magic shoe. I, I've, I've just been holding it this whole time. I, I told uh, you. Yeah, look. Fern, do you, do you move the shoe around? Uh, should she? She's just sitting with it. Oh, yeah. I mean, are you holding in the air? Like, what is, what are you doing She's with the shoe? She's standing in the shoe. She's holding the shoe in her hand, yes. So I guess the yeah, shoe Clarence. is levitating. Yeah, Clarence, as you come further, uh, as your eyes adjust more to the dark, you come further into the room, uh, you definitely see a floating shoe. Yeah, I get my like, flashlight on the shoe, like, mm -hmm. God. Yeah. Do y'all see me? I, I see the magic shoe. I told you she's here, but she isn't. Yeah. Yeah, he's right. It, 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 it doesn't make sense. Okay, first of all, I'm totally sorry that I doubted you because the shoe is magic. And... Right? Um, okay. For, for, what, what, do you, what do you see? What does your room look like? Am I, am I a ghost? Am I, uh, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. We're going to figure that out right now, okay? Okay. Ghost. Okay. All right. Um, there, I know there's. Might be a ghost. <laughs> I can hear you. I mean, sorry. Listen, I don't want to lie to you. You might be a ghost, okay? <laughs> like I'm just throwing it out there. I mean, that'd be really cool, but but also, I don't want. I'm, I'm not ready to go yet. There, there are no skeletons in this room. And I and I see uh, there's a couple balls, and um, and they're like the ones that we we saw saw yesterday. I, I think I tried. I mean, I'm just touching this one. You think I should pick it up? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do, do it. it. I'm going to do it. And she picks up She picks up the right ball. Sure. Uh, as you pick up the right ball, you all hear a dog barking again. And uh, <gasps> you hear some, like, noises as uh, uh, 
Jezebel starts digging into the hole you guys just came down. And uh, before you know it, Jezebel is down with you. And Fern, you see Jezebel in your room. <gasps> my baby! Come, come here. Come over here. Come over here. Oh, my God. Where were you? Oh, my yeah, God. Jezebel so runs weird. up and starts, like, licking all over you, Fern. Uh, the other three of you literally see a dog attacking a floating shoe. And that's it. That's uh, The dog is... is Attacking a floating ship. Oh, Dark and the evil. <laughs> I'm be. so worried. I'm gonna pull out my ball. My call you ball. Pull out your ball. Call sure, ball. sure. Yeah. Um, it's just in your hand. What if there's, we put all no the balls in the magic shoe? Sorry. <laughs> I don't hate that idea. <laughs> the shoe's connected to wherever she is. The dog is. The dog knows. Maybe if we just put all the balls together. It's like Thanos in the in the Infinity Stones, which was released in '92. So it's okay. <laughs> Maybe the shoe can have the power, and then warp in reality. Oh. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, why don't I just first? Why don't I just try holding both the balls? <laughs> then we're gonna do the shoe thing. You want my? You want to take the ball from me? But then you want having more reason to come around and hang out with me. I'll still oh. like your sister. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna give it right back to you, Clarence. I'm gonna give it right back to you. you promise? Sorry, I'm gonna give. I promise. I do promise. I promise. Pinky promise. Oh my pinky up. I will pinky square to that. Mm. <laughs> All right here. I need, I need the ball. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So the t- so uh, Samantha, you take both balls into your hand. Okay. And um, Fern is just in the room with you now. <gasps> Fern, you are back in the room. That is uh, with, filled with skeletons. And oh. uh, however, the two balls that you were touching are gone. Your dog is still there, but you're oh. you're now in a room with everyone else. So everyone's together. Wait, the dog isn't there. The dog's with you. The dog's there. Oh my god. So, oh. so I'm just gonna have to stay like this the rest oh, yeah. of my life. All of you are together. Yeah, all of you are oh. together in this room. You just hey, killed him. You just rescued me. From Mars. What, what, what it was feel? it like? Ah. It was it was scary. I don't even know where it was. Honestly, it was just some weird room that was that had two other balls like that. But but I don't know. Is she holding that one? I'm holding both uh, of them. The only balls that exist right now are the ones that Samantha has in her hands. They're n- the other balls not- that are on the ground are gone. They're, they're you are no longer in that room. You are in the room with the skeletons. Why am I the only one who hasn't gotten a chance to handle balls yet? What's going on here? Sorry, buddy. Balls may be too much power for a non-wizard such as yourself. <laughs> Literally, Samantha is attuned to the magic of the world and has teleported Fern back to our plane of existence. That's totally the logical conclusion. Thanks for clearing that up, Clarence. What about the magic shoe? Oh, yeah, get the shoe. Oh, yeah, it's still, it's still in Fern's hand. Okay, let's get, oh, we gotta, okay, can, can we so I think we should, now? I think what should happen is I'm going to keep holding and I think we should all go with the shoe. Oh, wait. Okay. Just we get the magic shoe. Okay, I've got the magic shoe. Okay. okay. We're going to walk uh, out of the hole. All right. You guys uh, all start to climb out of the hole together and you go out of the path that you think you created to get out the first time. You're not quite sure. Uh, and you get up to the top, and you are uh, near where the two of you originally discovered Eddie when he came up. Mm. And the hole is maybe 10, 15 feet away from you. I These are some not really comfortable. odd balls. They are some odd balls. I'm not comfortable letting go of the balls for right this second until we get really far away from here. Because I don't want to okay. lose Fern again. So did, so did the four of you walk away with uh, Fern's dog? Yeah, I think so. What do you guys think? I think we should do yeah. CFO. Yeah, let's, yeah, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home and change and put some shoes on. Okay, right. we're, we'll, we'll go to friend's house. All right. Yeah, as you, as you, you can all come over. I'll make you sandwiches. As you start to yeah. move away from the hole, um, you guys notice that the dog is not <laughs> anymore, and Fern is no longer beside you. Fern, you no longer see the rest of the group. 
However, you do see your dog. All right, come on, baby. Fern? Fern? You can all hear each other. Yes? Where are you? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, not again. Well, I, I, I'm right here. I didn't go anywhere. You have the shoe? Yeah, I got the... I got the... You have the shoe? You still have it if you want to, yeah? I still have the shoe! Is the shoe floating in front of us again? The shoe is floating right in front of you, yes. Eddie, I swear what? to God, if this isn't a magic shoe. I, I Listen, I, it's as magic as I can believe it is. Put the balls in the shoe! I don't know! <laughs> I think we should... No, no, no. Let's just go... Let's go back to the hole. I don't want to go back, go back, go back to the hole. Samantha, the please, don't no, no, go no, back. No. It's over there. It's real scary. No, Samantha, no, 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 they are it, all not. freaked out. I'm going to need you to roll a uh, leadership roll. See if you can really convince them all to come back with you. Because it's a good idea, but they're all out of their minds. So yeah, let's do lead. Did that did that work? Uh lead and heart. Uh just a one. You just need a one. You're you're a very convincing person. I believe terrified. that you... my browser is frozen. So if somebody uh -oh. wants to if you want to roll for me, I'll roll for you. Me. Yeah, I got you. you. Lead. Yes. Oop. All right, we'll you got a one. Reload that. Okay. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it's definitely success. Everyone sort of stops. The minute you start talking, everyone stops. And they pay attention to you. All right, we're not going, we're, we're totally not going in the hole. We're just going to go back close enough to the last place that we could see Fern. That's all we're going to do. And then we're going to okay. eat, and then we're going to eat some, uh, then we're going to eat some of Nana's food. I'm already trying to call her my Nana, because I really wish she was my Nana. So we're, we're all going to eat some Nana's food. food. Yeah, Nana makes oh, good food. She's food a with you? Yeah. Oh, wow, you're prepared. I like it. Okay, let, let's... Yeah, I like it, Samantha. Let's trace our our steps. Okay. But we're not going in the hole, and we're not touching the hole. We're just going near the hole. So we're going to walk over there. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. You walk and, about and you uh, four or five feet. Around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you walk about four or five feet back. Fern appears. Dog appears. Everything is fine. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, okay. You're back. Oh. You fired the balls. Maybe, maybe she needs the power of the balls to leave this. She's shackled to this area. Maybe her soul is. What if she takes the balls with her to the other place? Then we can't bring her oh. back at all. Oh my God! No, I don't want that. Both would suck. But then she'd have four but, balls. Yeah, she'd have four. But I don't want four. I just want to be alive. Okay. Um. I think what we should do right this second is sit down and eat some food. <laughs> because I'm trying to well, stop like the fact that, that I have no idea what to do right now. <laughs> and I'm just going to hold on to these balls. I didn't even get to eat the rest of my chop suey. I'm real hungry. What's in them? They're uh, Tupperware containers. Oh, man. Nana's, Nana's uh, non, non canned soup. Oh, man. What kind of soup is it? Because that's not well, I just, just, I just learned soup cans. doesn't always come in a can. <laughs> that you could actually like, make it from scratch. <laughs> and I'm fascinated. Like it looks like it used to be a real carrot. Uh, as the four of you sit down to eat and try to figure out what's going on, um, in the uh, forest itself, behind some trees nearby, the originals have been watching you for some time, and they have seen everything that's gone on, and the look they give each other is both of shock and. This could be a lot of fun. And that is where we're going to end for today. Uh, <laughs> yep, that's it for today. But uh, before we get out of here and we leave everyone who's watching completely confused, um, <laughs> let's run through everyone really quickly. And uh, you guys can say what you're doing this week and give yourselves some awesome shout outs. Uh, let's start this time with Octopimp. What's going Hi. on, my dude? Hi, I'm Octo. Uh, I've been streaming Vampire. Uh, that game is real good, and apparently, I look like the protagonist. Um, but yeah, a little bit. Uh, a, little bit. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. People say that it's the beard, really. But um, yeah, uh, this was fun, and that's me. I it's really all I've been doing is streaming that game. So check me out. Cool. Uh, Elspeth, what's going on with you this week? Hey guys. 
guess uh, I'm actually not sure. I was thinking of playing some, uh, getting back into Oblivion. I've really been feeling like the old school oh, Bethesda man. stuff. Yeah, so I was like, oh, Oblivion sounds so good. Um, but yeah, you can check me out. I'm I'm pretty much live almost every day. So if you want to come hang out, see some old school Bethesda. I don't use any mods. I'm one of those purest people. Pure vanilla oh. Oblivion. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. It's hardcore. Uh, Ken, what's happening with you this week, my dude? Oh, you know me, just sleeping late and, and, and playing VG games. Simito Skin, you can, uh, it's all Simito Skin. Stream every day, and the YouTube channel. My only regret that I have for this session is that I really wanted to put the shoe on and see if she could lift me up into the air, but I didn't get a chance to. <laughs> uh, that is the first <laughs> thing we were doing next week, like the first. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out and watching this. It was a lot of fun, and I, we will see you next week for sure. Be better. Yes. Right. Uh, I, I yeah, we'll figure it out. I don't know if everyone has E three stuff that they're doing on Thursday, yeah. so next we'll week see. But if not, if not next week, the week after. But we will return. Uh, Samantha, oh Miss Mornweb, what is going on with you this week besides E three? Um, I imagine. Yeah, E3 is coming up, so doing a lot of planning for that. Um, I'm in a video game studio. It's called Bonfire Studios. We're an independent game developer, and we are working on some stuff here, and we are also hiring, so bonfirestudios.com slash careers. If you want to work in the video game industry, uh, we would love to hear from you. Awesome. That is the best shout-out to a slash careers website. I've ever, like, eh, slash careers website? That's great. Uh, okay, and for myself, I'll be at E3. I'm go well, first, I'm going to IndiePopCon. Uh, if you're going to be in Indiana this weekend, come by. We're doing our podcast, The Chiluminati. We're going to be talking about uh, a horror house that's in Indiana, and it's going to be really silly, and I will poo-poo all of it and be like, it ain't even real. Um, and then e 3s next week, so yeah, that's going to be crazy. But that's it for us. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, JP, for running this thing in the background. And uh, we will see you guys next time with some more oddballs. Bye, everybody.